YouTube, hello, welcome to the stream. YouTube frogs, I got a special game for you today. It's dedicated to you. It is Frog Detective. Uh, the entire mystery, I believe, is the whole thing. Uh, it's all three cases of Frog Detective, and uh, we're going to play them all. This is currently on PC Game Pass. It's an easy completion, and it should only take a couple of hours, so a nice little cute, fun game uh, before I leave for Disney uh, for Tina's birthday, which is today. Happy 31st birthday to my beautiful wife, Christina Dawn Narvaez Jr. Uh, other than that, YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the Mario Party upload. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed the October comp. And uh, hope you enjoy this VOD. Dad will be back soon while I'm in Disney. Catch up on some content. Hang out in the Discord. And uh, be safe. Speaking of Discord, join it if you're not in there already. Buy something from FrameRateMerch.com. We will have more things coming Black Friday, restocking a lot of things. That was a weird noise I just made with my throat. Uh, other than that, like, subscribe, YouTube. I love you. Enjoy the video. See you in a little bit. All right, chat. Let's get to it. Let's solve some mysteries as a cute frog. I get done dirty immediately up here. Game's already off on a bad foot. All right, let's see how I struggle playing this game intended for, well, not children, but, you know, not meant to be hard. Oh, look at that swagger walk. Who's this man? Look at this guy. The Haunted Island. Oh, shit, spooky. Fucking big dick swinging. Move using WASD. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Ooh, the phone. Oh, this game is very low. Oh, look at my little froggy hand. Hell yeah. Dude, frog could do the shocker without having to adjust his fingers. That's pretty dope. Hello, who is it? It's the supervisor. Hi, supervisor. Hey, how's life? Yeah, pretty good, I reckon. How are things with you? Me and the wife just got back from Indonesia. Oh, this is a cute picture. Also, is he a penguin? That's dope. Ah, well, pff, what the fuck? Salamat the ta- I'm not going to say that because I'm going to offend a whole race of people. That means welcome back, I think. Thanks. Anyway, what are you calling about? Oh, right. I have a case for you. Cool. It's a pretty spooky one, so hold on tight. I'm holding on. There's a little sloth who owns an island just off the bay. Martin's his name. Says he's been hearing uh, a ghost for about two weeks. So get this. He hires a team of ghost scientists. What's a ghost scientist? I don't know. Anyway, he hires some of them, right? And they can't find anything. They've been on the island for two weeks. Whoa. The ghost is still at large. So the head scientist there, a monkey, calls me up. They need help, and they want the greatest investigator I have. So I said to them, I'll send my best investigator. But Lobster Cop wasn't available, so I'm asking you, the second best investigator. I fully understand Lobster Cop's abilities far outweigh my own. <laughs> yeah, but you're pretty good. So are you up for it? I don't know. It sounds very scary. I'll have to be very brave. I believe in you, detective. That's just what I need to hear. Thank you, supervisor. I'll do it. Wahoo. Can you give me a summary of the case before I go? Sure thing. The basics are, there's a sloth who's hearing a lot of spooky ghost noises around his island. He calls a bunch of ghost scientists, but they're stumped. It's up to you to solve the mystery of the haunted island. Why'd you yell the haunted island like that? Because that's the title of the case. Fair enough. <laughs> it's time for you to grab your magnifying glass and get going. See you later, supervisor. Good luck. Thanks. There we go. Nice house I got here. Where do I sit or sleep or eat or shit? Anyway. Ah, yes, my trusty magnifying glass. Can't solve mysteries without it. Achievement! Peak game dialogue, yeah. Right click. Oh, look at my little froggy hand. All right, hold on one second. Can I fucking make the volume a smidge higher? It is maxed out, huh? Okay, well, never mind then. Time to solve a mystery. Oh, I think I know what I could do. Hold on. 
Let me... I could raise it on my mixer. I'll also check in-game if there's a uh, volume thing. A frog detective adventure. There it is, chat. The haunted island. It's spooky. Starring the detective. Hey, that's me. Yo, shout out to Martin. Let's go. There's Larry. <laughs> nice space. Mo the mouse mouse. <laughs> Bernie. Oh, that's where he went after he abandoned the company. Fresh X. What a cool name. <laughs> and the rest? What the fuck? Okay. Yo, tag yourself on the rest. Okay. I wanted to be Fresh X, but Jesus Christ. Oh, hey, man. All right. Um, audio. Oh, here we go. Thank God. All right, this is going to be bass boosted now, so uh, hold on one second. Let me make sure I don't deafen you. I do appreciate a game actually having the audio not maxed out. It's pretty based. All right. All right. Oh, can I leave? What if I just try to leave? Can I do that? <laughs> oh, I got an achievement! Tried to leave. You haven't even solved the mystery. This is fun. I do a little dance. I'm too fucking scared. I'm getting out of here, dude. But I gotta get back to work. I like his little froggy dance. Hey, man. Ah, you finally made it. Thanks for coming on such short notice. I've heard so much about your adventures. I'm a huge fan. Wow, it's very kind of you. When you figured out who was behind the force theft in Witchtown, I couldn't believe it. I thought nobody would ever solve that mystery. I mean, who steals an entire forest? Oh, you've been following my blog posts. Uh, yes, I'm a I'm Mystery Monkey Forty Nine. I comment all the time. What does this clipboard say? Notes. Hmm. Maybe a man in a suit. Okay. I even made a funny joke once, and you responded. Of course, I remember. Hi, Mystery Monkey 49. It's me talking to Twitch chat. Please, Mystery Monkey 49 is my online name. You can just call me Mystery. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't realize the 49 was so formal. You can just call me Mystery Monkey. Of course. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Questions, yes. What would you like to know? The resident. May I ask who the resident of this island is? Ah, that'd be Martin. You can find him hiding in the forest. He thinks the ghosts can't catch him there. Hmm, very interesting. I'll investigate. What would you like to know? Uh, where to start? Who should I talk to first? You're talking to me already. Okay, who should I talk to second? Uh, Larry, the tall red one. He always wants to meet new people. Although, I think mostly he wants new people to meet him. Not so much the other way around. It's fair. I'll check it out, thanks. What would you like to know? Oh, I'm all good. Is the volume good, chat, or should I raise it up a little bit more? I mean, it's just like background music, so. I think I'll come back later after some investigation. See you around. It's good, all right. Oh, hey, man. Look at this little man. Hi there. He's just chilling. He's vibing. This is what I think lurkers look like when they're watching the stream. They're just hanging out. Oh, look at this guy. I need to talk to you, but this guy looks more enticing. Koala, hi. Howdy. What are you doing in there? Swimming? But there's a storm. Eh, it's not raining yet. Besides, it's not actually that unsafe to swim in storms. Everyone keeps telling me to get out of the sea. But it's safer in here than it is up there. Why's that? No ghosts in the water. Ghosts can't swim. How do you know? Martin said, you don't look that happy in there. I guess I'm not. I'm sorry to hear it. Thanks. May I ask why you're so sad? Well, it's kind of silly. I really want a magnet. Okay. 
I told you it's silly. Why do you want a magnet? Well, go on. My dream is to attach a magnet to a boat and hold on. <laughs> oh, why? Boats are fast. I'm not fast. If I hold on to the magnet, I'll be really fast too. Nice, right? I don't have any idea where to find one though. And even if I did, there's no way I'm getting out of here. Not until the ghost is found. That's interesting. Is there anything you need to know? Uh, the magnet. Why'd you want a magnet again? Oh, it's just, okay, it just repeats the same thing. Yep, zoom along, okay. Oh, if it sweetens the deal, I can give you this big shell in return. I thought it might be magnetic, but it's not. Why would you think a shell was magnetic? How was I supposed to know? What am I, a scientist? I. Alright. Is there anything else you need to know? Um, The ghost. What can you tell me about the ghosts? Well, not much, I guess. I heard noises coming from the holes around the island. They freaked me out so badly that I grabbed my floaty and got in here. How long have you been in the water for? Hmm, maybe t two weeks? Whoa, are you are your feet wrinkly? Ew, I don't know. You should check. Maybe later. Is there anything else you need to know? No, I'm good. Thanks, man. You live your life in there. Nothing for the moment. I'll come back. Sure thing. All right, Koala wants a magnet. Hey, man. Hi, it's me, Larry. Hell, I did not do it. What? The noises are not coming from me. I didn't, I, Larry, did not make these spooky noises. That's like more suspicious somehow. What? Are you even listening? I said I didn't make the noises. No, I heard, I just, I don't like being accused like this. I'm not accusing, oh, you're not? That's such a relief. Can I, are you gonna ask me questions? You ask me then. The questions, I mean. The the noises. What can you tell me about the noise? Firstly, I am not the one making them. Yep. But I know where they're coming from. What? They're coming from the cave in the forest. Why haven't you told anyone? Nobody listens to me. They say stuff like, Whoa, Larry, if you won't listen to us, we won't listen to you. Which is so weird because I do listen. Maybe they mean, I'm a really great listener. So how do we get into the cave? Well, I need a few things. To get through there, you'll need some sort of explosive device. Okay. Larry's high as fuck right now. Why? Because his eyes are just wide open and he's not blinking? <laughs> nah, he looks fine. He looks fine. Is that safe? We're dealing with ghosts here, detective. None of this is safe. Anyway, I'll need a few things. I looked up an explosive recipe in one of the old chemistry books. I need two... Write this down. He needs toothpaste, wool, gold, a pure gold, not that fake shit, and some pasta. All right, sure. Oh, so the normal explosive ingredients then. Just the standard explosive recipe. Yes, if you want to get into that cave, bring me those ingredients. I'll do my best. Ask me them, the questions I mean. Um, does, do you know where I can get these? Toothpaste, wool, chunk of pure gold, and some pasta. Oh, he just says the same thing again. Okay. Let's make some dynamite. Not yet, detective. We still need... Okay, so this is just... He doesn't tell you more about it. That's just what you click. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Larry. I'm good, thanks. Thanks for kind of listening, I guess. Hey! Can I take this pasta? Yum. But it's not mine. That's some big-ass pasta, dude. Are these the army bombs people are talking about? Yeah, absolutely. Birdie! Hey, you're that detective, right? The one that Monkey keeps going on about? That's me. I'm so glad they finally brought someone else in. I know nothing. I really should have taken this job. Oh, why are my alerts off? Hold on. Sorry about that, chat. Why'd you take it? I'll be honest. I thought it was a secret agent job. Why would you think that? The job listing said ghost scientist. That didn't seem like a real job to me. I thought it was like a cover, you know? One that only smart people could figure out, like me. It still could be a cover. Maybe they're testing you. Oh, no. You're right. I better look competent. I'm only joking. Sure. Can I ask you some questions about the case? What else do you want to know? About this hole. What do you know about the noises coming from this hole? I mean, I'm not great at this job. I'd be good at other jobs. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> but it does seem like the noises coming from this hole aren't from a natural creature. 
They seem otherworldly somehow. They have a weird and distinct tone. Sometimes it sounds like a bird's call, but only sometimes. Wow, that's a lot of good information. <laughs> Look at him in the fucking background over here. Wait, hey, there's Koala. Yes, I'm very good at finding things out, if you know what I mean. Bernie, I'm not a secret agent. Uh-huh. What else do you want to know? Can I get your pasta? <coughs> you mentioned you want to be a secret agent. Why? Uh, secret agents get the best stuff. Like, for example, you've got a cool magnifying glass. I want one of those. I'm not a secret agent. Sure you're not. Bernie winks. <laughs> Just the fucking blank stare. Uh, even if I can't be a secret agent, the things I'd give up for a magnifying glass, there's nothing I want more. Interesting. What else do you want to know? Why do you want a magnifying glass again? What do you mean, why? Everyone knows a magnifying glass is the coolest of the secret agent items. How could you, a secret agent, not know that? Listen. Fine, fine. You're not a secret agent. Whatever. He doesn't believe me. Oh, text for Tina. So yourself. Who took my sunglasses? Give them back. Remember, do not split up when searching for ghosts like Scooby-Doo. Oh, I'm sorry, Scooby-Doo. They forgot the O. By me. Notes. Uh, some hole noises. Need some... Wait. Need some tomatoes for soup. Who is ghosts? I'm not qualified. Can I just take this? This might come in handy. Hey, I got the magnet. Dude, tomatoes. Alright, I'll be right back. Oh, look at this little guy. Why does he have a butthole mouth? Anyway. Hey man, got your magnet. Always with the questioning. Is there anything you need to know? The magnet. Oh, I'm blocking my inventory. Let me move my face cam. Whoop. I think over here should be fine. I brought you a magnet. What? Like, a real one? Are you for real? Yeah. This is a dream come true. Thank you so much. No problem. In return, I'll give you this big shell. I don't need it anyway. Great, thanks. Wow. A real magnet. Got a shell! Hey, good luck with your dream, man. And the, the whole, the boat thing. Oh, hold on, guys. Tina needs me for one second. I'll be right back. Beer be. All right, you two. Back to it. What are we doing? Oh, we're talking to this slide. Okay. Gave him the magnet. Got the shell. Solving mysteries. Hey, dude. Hey. Oh, hey, Noodle. How's it hanging? Eh, fine, I guess. Bored, mostly. Bored? That's suspicious. Suspicious? Why? Surely you can't just say I'm suspicious. There's no rules against it. I'm not being suspicious at all. I guess not. Sorry for calling you suspicious. That's okay. Why are you bored? Isn't hunting ghosts supposed to be exciting? For the first week, sure. Not now, though. I've been at this post the entire time. I'm shedding everywhere. Gross. I know. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Ask away. You're wool, by chance. Why are you shedding so much? I haven't had a trim in ages. It's so yuck. Split ends everywhere. I'm usually getting cut once a week, but it's been two weeks now. Yuck. It's so gross. It's totally fine. Thanks for trying to spare my feelings. But there's wool everywhere. I think everyone is grossed out by it. Ah, oh, surely that's not true. Eh, maybe not. But it feels true in my heart. I think most people like wool. It's used for so much stuff. Like what? My jumper's made out of wool. Ha, huh, are you for real? Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> it's weird that you're wearing my hair. Well, not your fucking hair specifically. What do you mean? Wool is pretty gross. That's why I keep mine short. I don't think wool is gross at all. 
Okay, but what if I wore a coat made out of your slime? What? Ew. Gross, right? Sure, but slime is kind of gross anyway. And I'm saying that as someone who's very slimy. Wool is worn by most people. This is the first time I've heard of someone wearing wool. I think that makes you the weird one. Plus, I'm pretty sure the shirt you're wearing is wool. What? I'm wearing another sheep's hair? Pretty sure, yeah. Gross. I'm happy to take your wool away from you if you'd like. I mean, your own wool, not your shirt. Oh, yes, please. But you'll need something to clean it up with. Like a broom or like fire. Cool, okay. I probably won't use fire. Okay. Can't believe I'm wearing wool. What if it's Barney's? Mind if I ask more questions? Ask away. Okay, so he's the wool man, and we need a broom or fire. What can you tell me about this hole? I hate this hole. Why? It never does anything. It's a hole. I'm a ghost scientist. I want to see ghosts, not holes. Maybe the ghost is in the hole. Have you looked? I've looked. No ghost in there. It's a pretty deep hole, but it gets smaller as you go down. So maybe there's a ghost further down? Do you hear any ghost noises coming from the hole? Sometimes. But not as many as Bernie and Larry's hole. Now that's a noisy hole. Uh, we talking about the same thing? I wish I could hang out there. Who's stopping you? The boss. Who's the boss? I don't know. Maybe Mystery Monkey? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Might have I asked some more questions? Ask away. I'm good, thanks. That was very informative. Uh, okay, so he's got wool. Can I just grab this? Oh, can I go in the hole? Science line, don't go in. I should have listened to the sign. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Oh, whoops. Nope, I didn't want to do that. All right, so I guess I have to come back with a broom. I can't just grab the wool and then do it the other way. Oh, what the fuck? Huh. Okay. Is that the developer? <laughs> hey, man. I'm about to bust. Hank, it's a fucking grasshopper, dude. What do you mean? What do you mean? Hey, man. Oh, shit. He's about to hit a dab. Orbit. What a cool name. Hey, stop right there. Why? My shells. Don't step on my shells. Oh, I won't. We can't be sure of that. I guess not. They're very fragile and small. Aren't we all? <laughs> I guess. Please be careful. Okay. Are you still going to stand like that? Yeah. Why? I'm alarmed. I'm on alert. I am protecting my shells from dangerous frog feet. Wow. Sorry. I'm just worked up about my shells. I don't mean to be rude, but what shells? I can't see any shells. That's because they're small. How small? Too small for your weak magnifying glass. Wow. Sorry, but it's the truth. I had to get this one specially made for my tiny shells. Fine. Can I ask you some questions now? Ask me questions, just be careful that cave I have a shell for him maybe you know anything about that cave huh what no I'm not even sure it's a cave it just looks like a pile of rocks if you ask me it's a cave for sure well I guess we'll just agree to disagree it's literally a confirmed cave potato potato nobody pronounces it like potato I do really yeah fair enough ask me questions just be careful Why don't you just get a bigger shell? Ha! Ha ha ha! You fool! Hey, sorry. It's just that there's not many big shells around here. If I could get one, sure. This magnifying glass would be useless to me. But I don't see a big shell around here, do you? Hmm. Ask me questions, be careful. I have a big shell if you want it. What? How? It's a long story. Oh, in that case, I don't care. I hate stories. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, I totally want the shell. 
Can I swap you for it? I have this magnifying glass to look at the tiny shells. But I won't need it now that I have this big shell. Cool, thanks. You're still standing weird. I'm still on alert. Here's the magnifying glass. All right, now we can give this to uh, uh, the other guy to get the pasta. Oh, that is a ginormous shell. All right. Hey, Bernie. I think this is Bernie. Yeah. Question, question, questions. What else do you want to know? I have a spare magnifying glass if you're interested. Interested? Are you kidding me? There's very, there's very literally nothing I want more. Here you go. This is the best day ever. All my dreams are coming true. Is there anything I can do to repay you? Do you need any help with your secret agent business? Again, not a secret agent. Fine, fine. I could give you my lunch. Ooh, what's cooking? Pasta, as always. If there's one thing I love apart from the thrill of secrecy, it's pasta. Anyway, my appetite is satiated from the deliciousness of this magnifying glass. That's a weird way to word that. Whatever. Would you like the pasta? Heck yeah. All yours. All right. We got the pasta, chat. And we know where the wool is. Well, kind of. Um. Oh, look at this silly snake. What a crazy guy. Oh, there's the broom. Can I just take this? Ooh, a broom. Chat, you just got stick bugged. How does it feel? I may not have all the answers, but go ahead, ask away. Broom. Hey, I got that broom ready to clean. Yes, amazing. Thanks, detective. Can I keep this broom? Absolutely. Can I keep your wool? It's still weird, but yeah, knock yourself out. What? I mean, like, take all the wool you want. Not physically knock yourself out. Whew. All right, we got the wool. All right, we're making some good progress here. Uh, let's talk to the rack guy over here. Before we do that, though, what's over here? Who the fuck was that? Can I go this way? Oh, no, it's an invisible wall. Who the fuck was that? Don't like that. Didn't like that. Hey, Mo. Hi. Hello. Are you okay? Yes. Are you sure? Well, I have just never talked to a detective before. I've heard so many nice things about you. I don't want to be embarrassing. If I am embarrassing, that would be very bad. You're not embarrassing. That's very good news. But the conversation isn't over. There's still time. I have to be careful. Oh, well, is it okay if I ask some questions? You have some questions. Questions, yes. You seem very nervous. May I ask why? Uh, because of the detective thing I told you. Um, I am afraid of detectives. Maybe when I was a kid, I had a bad dream about a detective. Something like that. I don't know. I'm sorry to hear about that dream. What? Oh, I didn't actually have a dream about that. So why are you so afraid of me? Fine. You've worn me down. Damn your extreme detective skills. I'm nervous because of Mystery Monkey. Mystery Monkey is a huge fan of your blog, so I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of you. I just think Mystery Monkey is super neat, and I don't want to be embarrassing in case I mess everything up. Oh. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. There's a dance competition coming up tomorrow. I want to compete and show Mystery Monkey that I'm really good at dancing, but I don't know what style of dance will impress them. Could you ask Mystery Monkey and find out? I can give you this... Mouse, mouse wash, mouth wash in return. Sure thing, I'll do my best. Is that the toothpaste we need? I guess it's a little different. Um, the ghost. What can you tell me about the ghost? There's a ghost? Aren't you a ghost scientist? Oh. Ghost scientist, not toe scientist. That makes so much more sense. You thought you were a toe scientist? Yeah, I only took the job because, you know. 
Uh, you know, because you like toast. Yeah. What have you been doing this whole time? Not thinking about ghosts, that's for sure. How spooky. So you haven't heard any weird noises? Oh, for sure. Heaps of weird noises. I don't think they're coming from a ghost, though. What makes you say that? I haven't seen anything floating around as if a ghost was holding it. That happens in the movies. I'll keep an eye out, though. Sure thing. Questions? Yes. What's in that bottle next to you? That's my mouth, my mouse wash mouthwash. I'm happy to give it to you if you can find out what type of dance style Mystery Monkey likes the best. I'll get to it, thanks. Okay, let's go find out. Oh, the guy um, staring in the background? Oh, that's Koala. He's super nice, don't worry. He has our magnet. Uh, oh, where it's right here. Questions? Yes. What would you like to know? Hey, so, uh, you, uh, you like dancing and dance styles? I don't understand. Uh, I like dancing a lot if that's what you're asking. Yeah, kind of. What type of dancing do you like the best? Well, I basically only have one move. Yeah, but like, if you saw someone dancing... In what scenario would you most likely be like, this is such a great dance? What? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, what dance style do you like the best? Oh, hmm. I think break dancing is so neat. If I saw someone break dancing, wow, I would swoon. I would even go so far to say, if I saw someone break dance, I'd be so deeply impressed that I would want to hang out with them at all times forever. That's great. Sorry for such a strange question. That's okay. I'm sure it's important to the case. Anyway, I'll see you later. I got a monkey fact. Ooh. Oh, it's his head is in the top right-hand corner. Yeah, it's breaker style. Oh, I thought there was something over here. You have some questions? Questions, yes. Hey, I talked to Mystery Monkey. Oh my gosh. Did you mention me? What did Mystery Monkey say? Does Mystery Monkey hate me? I'm so embarrassing. I didn't mention you. Whew. Mystery Monkey likes breakdancing the best. Breakdancing. I think I can do that. I gotta start practicing now, though. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, here's the mouthwash before I forget. Cheers. All right. What was in the monkey's clipboard? Uh, oh, he's vibing. Uh, he's looking for a man in a suit. What? Who are you? I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the frog detective here from the agency. Oh, okay. Don't sneak, on me. sneak up on me like that. I was visible for the entire approach. <laughs> well, fine. I guess just don't look so spooky. Okay, I'll do my best. Sorry, I'm so cranky. I haven't slept in two weeks. I'm Martin, king of the island. You're a king? Well, when I got here, there was no one else on the island except for me and Finley. So I thought it was fine to declare myself king. Finley? I don't think Finley cares about that sort of stuff. Finley mostly cares about the dance competition. No, I meant to ask who's Finley. Oh, okay then. Do you mind if I ask a few questions? Go ahead. Got questions for me? Ooh, they got a lot here. You mentioned a dance. <laughs> He's so fucking dancing in the background. You mentioned a dance competition. Can you tell me a little more? It's tomorrow. Anything else? Best dancer wins. Okay, thanks. That was so helpful. Who's Finley? You met your friend Finley. Who's that? Finley lives on a nearby island and comes to visit every few days. The last time I saw Finley, she was talking about the song she wanted to dance to for the competition. Her moves are pretty amazing. Not like me. She'll probably win. I haven't seen her in a while, but she's probably still prepping for the competition. It's tomorrow. Not that I'll be able to compete. What with this whole spooky situation going on? Martin sighs. Got questions for me? Raven, see you later. Can you tell me about the noises and where they're coming from? I'm not exactly sure where they're coming from, but I know they're coming from a ghost. How do you know for sure? I have a book about ghosts. It's called The Ghost Guide, Foolproof Ways to Detect the Spirit. I read most of it. Anyway, in the book it says that most ghosts can't be seen, and get this, 
I haven't seen a single ghost yet. The proof is all there. Got questions for me? I, yeah, I'm getting so much information, dude. You seem super nervous. Is there anything I can do to help? It's just the ghost getting me down. I haven't been able to sleep. I'm kind of annoyed too because I usually love hearing stories about ghosts. I read all about them on the cyberweb.com. But now, I'm living one. I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of things. Bottom of the grave, more like. What? That made more sense in my head. I guess I mean like we'll probably die before the mystery's solved. That's very dark. Dark, just like the conclusion to this tale. Sorry if I'm being dramatic. You know I'm a good detective, right? I've solved every case I've taken on, except the mystery of how to put a hat on. My head is a strange shape. <laughs> it really is. The point is, you're safe. I'm gonna find the culprit. The best thing you do is sit and relax. Everything will be okay. I don't feel okay. I'm just finding it really hard to calm down. I understand, ghosts are scary, but it might not be a ghost. You really think it's not a ghost? I don't know for sure. Oh, let's try a visualization exercise. What's a visualization exorcism? It's a thing where we pretend. Imagine, you're on a beach surrounded by calming waves. You can feel the cool breeze on your face. The waves slowly move in and then out. It is a safe beach. What beach is it? This beach. This isn't a safe beach. There's a ghost here. No, the ghost is on holiday. Oh, okay. Where is it? On a road trip. Cool. Can we visualize that we're on a road trip instead? But the ghost is on the road trip. Great point. Continue. Anyway, the waves are coming in and out slowly. There's nothing to worry about. No ghost around at all. The ghost is on a road trip. Yep, nothing to fear. A nice sandy beach. Just me and the ocean. How do you feel? So relaxed. Great, me too. Thanks so much, detective. That's okay. I want to give you something as thanks. Perhaps a piece of my crown. Oh, that's the, okay. There's the gold. That's so kind. It's really heavy. It's made of pure gold. Why? I like gold. I like gold. I think we got all the ingredients. It's for this bomb. Ooh, he hit me with a no problemo. Nice. Hey, Larry. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. You're on the right track, but we still need... Damn it. All right. I thought he would take this instead. This game is wildly calming. It is. All right, was there toothpaste I didn't see somewhere? Oh, I could show you the, the thing right here. Hold on. Uh, if you didn't see it earlier, hmm, maybe a man in a suit. I'm kind of afraid of that little guy that's around. Oh, wait, what's back here? A <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fucking fuck me, I guess, dude. Fuck me. Hold on one second, chat. Fuck me. Okay. I got got. Okay. Um We've spoken to Oh, we haven't gone over here actually, right? There's more over here. Oh, yeah, we haven't talked to him. Oh, that's, uh, what is that, Fresh X? Yeah, dude. Okay. Hey, man, just lounging? Oh! There's the toothpaste. What a pose. Yo, Fresh X, I'm about to act up, dude. Whoa, hey, hey, oh, hey. Howdy. <laughs> hey man are you the uh <laughs> yep great you brought my toothpaste shipment huh uh no i'm the detective oh okay can i call you d-tech yeah nice i have some questions Is that okay take it away d-tech 
your clothes. Why aren't you wearing a lab coat like the other scientists? It's my day off. I've been working so hard for the last two weeks. It's very important to take a break and get some sun. You're right. Uh, not about the sun. About taking the day off. Yeah, I didn't pick a great day for it. Sorry to question you on your day off. Take it away, D-Tech. Your smile. I hope you don't mind me saying, but you have wonderful teeth. Thank you. I'm so glad someone finally noticed. How do you keep them so pearly white? With Dr. Tight Smile's 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth, of course. Dr. Tight Smile 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Paste for Teeth. I get a shipment here every three days. I go through the stuff so quickly. I'm down to my last tube. Wow. Where can I get some of my own? Do... Do you have teeth? <laughs> uh, well, I could give you my tube. But I will need something else to keep my mouth fresh. I'll think about it. Can I ask you some more questions? I'll take it away, D-Tech. Mouthwash. Uh, I have some mouthwash for you. Amazing! Thanks. Am I able to use your toothpaste? I almost forgot. Here you go, D-Tech. Hey, we can make a bomb. In-game. Hustled hard. Normal explosive ingredients. What, what a pose, dude. More questions? Ask them. Explosion. Let's make some dynamite. Let's see. Wow. You got everything. Yep. Amazing. Shall we make some dynamite? Yes. Let's do it. Nice. I'll cook us some dynamite. We can get exploding, baby. Well, this is it. Yep. Time to blow this cave up. Larry. Explosives are dangerous. Sorry. Time to carefully blow this cave up. Thanks. No worries. I'm nervous. Me too. And I'm not even coming into the cave. You're not? I don't like dark spaces. I'm a sunny boy, baby! I'm not a baby. Sorry. Anyway, good luck. Look after yourself in there. I'm about to bust. Thank you, Hank. And Larry. Let's do this. Whoa! Like I just yeet the dynamite. I don't even place it. Hmm. A lot of mushrooms in here. Any spooky ghosts? Uh. Hey. Got spooked. Ah! Through the gamer score. Hi, Finley. Oh, hi. Dude, I'm ready to fight. Who are you? Are you a ghost? Uh, what? I don't think so. Are you sure? Hmm. Yep. That's great. You're not wrong. So, uh, who are you? Finley. Who are you? The detective. Howdy. Wait a minute. Finley? I know that name. I'm pretty well known around local dance circles. That's, that's not it. Oh, you're Martin's friend. Yeah. What are you doing down here? Practicing for the dance competition. It's tomorrow. How long have you been down here? Uh, hmm. Jeez, like two weeks, I guess? I didn't even realize. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Uh, wait. Two weeks? Have you seen any ghosts around? Nah. Just me down here. Does Martin know you're here? I don't think so. He never comes down here. Really? Why not? He thinks every dark space is haunted. He reads all those ghost books and thinks there's a ghost in every crevice. It's good for me, though. Perfect spot to train. You've been dancing for two weeks straight? Yeah. Aren't you tired? I mean, I take naps. And these mushrooms are super nutritious. Gross. Mushrooms are disgusting. That's your opinion, detective. No, it's a fact. Okay. Anyway, Martin's been super spooked out because he's been hearing weird noises all over the island. Any idea what the noises could be? Hmm. I've been listening to my radio while dancing. This cave has a lot of holes. The sound from your radio could easily travel up to the surface. 
I bet it sounds super warped, too. You know, you've been trapped in here, right? The cave has been blocked off by rocks? Ha, huh, really? Ha <laughs> ha, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, you could have died. Ha <laughs> ha, then I'd actually be a ghost. I didn't even think of that. Yeah. Ha ha! Anyway, we should head back up to the island. Yep. Interesting conversation we just had. Ha ha! Finley? Hi, Martin. Hi. Hey. Hi. What are you doing here? I was in the cave. You... What? How'd you get in? It's been sealed up for weeks. Two weeks to be exact. Wait a minute. As it turns out, there was never a ghost. It was Finley in the cave all along. She was so wrapped up in practicing, she didn't even notice the cave got caved in. The noises from her radio carried up to the surface and sounded super spooky. But... My ghost books! I was so sure it was a ghost! Nope, just me. It just goes to show you should never trust books. Always use the internet instead. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Books are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Yep. Oh, hi Grace. Hi there, apologies for the interruption. I hope you're enjoying the game. Yeah, I am. I won't keep you for long. While I agree with the detective on most issues, there are contexts in which books should be very useful and informative. It's important to check the validity of the author's sources and to check the book is up to date. The internet could also be a useful place to find information, but make sure you're getting your information from a trusted site. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the game. Okay. That was, that was a good uh, PSA. So anyway, as I was saying, Books have no place in our society. Sure thing, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you for opening my eyes to the uselessness of books. You're very welcome. So, just to be clear, you were practicing for the competition this whole time? Yup. I'm in it to win it. I'm still not entirely sure what this dance competition involves. Dance competition? Best dancer wins. Who else is competing? Hmm, that's a good point. Just us, I guess. Don't forget Mo the Mouse. Who? One of the ghost scientists. The what? Don't worry about it. I think we need more entrance. I know a few hardworking friends who could use a good boogie, but they won't be here tomorrow. Well, let's move to the competition to today! Yeah! 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 Before we dance, I just want to say, thanks for solving the mystery, Detective. No problem at all. I had a lot of help. Larry figured out where the noises were coming from. Larry? Is that the lobster? The one that talks over everybody? Yup. Well, I'll give my thanks to Larry too. So shall we boogie? Let's go! Hello, Maddie. How are you? Oh, hell yeah, dude! I solved the case! Case one done, baby! We got two more to go! Yeah, the cases get longer. This one's only like 30 minutes. The next one is like an hour-ish, maybe around there. And then the third one is like an hour and a half. Okay, I think we've practiced enough. Wait a minute. Who's judging? I'll do it. Oh, hell yeah. He still got the shell. Oh shit, dance circle, or semi-circle. Oh, I gotta give it to him. I gotta give it to Mo. That's not break dancing. Hey, he's trying his best, all right? He's trying his best. I gotta give it to Mo so he can talk to his crush. I got a wingman right now. Oh, though the koala's going hard. Hey, it came out of the water, I just realized. Still holding his magnet. 
still holding his magnet. Oh, damn, look at him go in! And it's me! Pick the winner? Well, I mean, there were better dancers, but I feel like I need to hook Mo up, all right? He might have honestly, they might have been the worst one. But, uh, yeah, got, got a wingman for Mo. Got a wingman for Mo. Yeah, dude. Goodbye, friends. Congrats on your win. Oh, he got a trophy. I don't fucking get my Mario Party trophy. I'm gonna assume no matter who you choose, nothing different happens. It's just a different person has the trophy. Hey, so who is that weird guy we saw peeking behind a rock? What was that about? Ooh, a little bit later. Don't worry about it, okay. Oh. Uh, I got a picture. I wonder what that's from. Oh, Telefono. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I help you? Detective. Supervisor. Great work on the Haunted Island mystery. Thank you. I tried really hard. I don't think even Lobster Cop could have solved that one. I think you're underestimating Lobster Cop. You're probably right. Anyway, I saw you busted a groove at the dance competition. Yeah, where'd you see that? It was on TV. Every channel. Every channel? In HD. Cool. I didn't even see any cameras. Well, you certainly impressed the public. My phone has been ringing off the hook. Most of the calls are about your dancing, but I did get one yeah. call about a case. Have you heard of Warlock Woods? I haven't. Well, there's something very strange going on there. They need our best investigator on the job. Lobster Cop wasn't available? Nah. Can you handle another case, detective? I can handle anything. Yo, Boople, thank you. Ooh, the invisible wizard! No, I'm not playing God of War. I'm not gonna be here. All right, case one down. We got two more to go. Dude, what was, why, why was, why are we lying on those beach chairs? All sexy-like. <laughs> it was a good look. Answer the call. Okay, this is the end, right? That's an iconic pose. All right, I got to update the stream game we're playing. Okay. Case two. Ooh, I have a lantern. This music's pretty good. All right, chat. Give me one second again. I'm so sorry. I will be right back. I'll leave the music. I'll leave the screen on here so you can enjoy the smooth, the smooth jazz. Shall we continue with the case of the invisible wizard? He looks great. Let's go. Ah, deja vu. A phone. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. Hi, Detective. Hi, Supervisor. Why'd you hang up on me? Huh? We were talking just a moment ago about a new case. The one at Warlock Woods, right? Yeah. I hung up because I got too excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. What can you tell me about this new case? It's a doozy, Detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Sorry. Anyway, 
Warlock Woods is a fairly small town up north. They don't get many visitors around there. A couple of days ago, a new resident moved in. A shy kind of gal doesn't like to be the center of attention. Anyway, she settles into the new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organize a welcoming parade. Great idea. Absolutely. But someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. What? I know, right? So rude. No one has any leads on this case. They don't know who done it. That's where you come in, detective. That's me. I'm the detective. I'm aware. Warlock Woods is a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You'll need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. Too easy. You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. Do you think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yep. Great. Hop to it. Haha. -ha. Oh, I forgot to mention. The new resident of the woods is special. She's invisible. Ah, that was loud. And a wizard. An invisible wizard. Cool. Uh, what's the re uh, relevance of her being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they'll get. So they'll, they're they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade and the decorations and the celebrations. They want her to be uninvisible, de invisible uh, visible. Exactly. Anyway, do you have everything you'll need? Um, I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass. Of course. It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, you'll be ready to solve the, the mystery. Thanks, supervisor. Good luck, detective. Dude, wizard face reveal? It's going to be more hype than dream? Ah, my trusty magnifying glass. I can't solve mysteries without it. Well, maybe I could, but I wouldn't want to. All right. Let's go. Oh. No, my God, he's back. Lobster cop. Steve, whose side are you on? Oh, oh, shit. What's happening? Uh, he's coming right at me. Oh, he stopped. We're fine. <laughs> ah, it's the famous frog detective. F famous? I'm not famous. Ah, perhaps not, but I'm sure you will be soon. Wow, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? Um, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I work next door, right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. Nope, that's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I'm in there working every time you do it. I even say, this is my office. And then you say, sure is, little cleaning frog. And then I say, I am a crime-solving frog, not a cleaning frog. But usually you're gone already. Excuse my ignorance, detective. I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy. Head full of mysteries. Sometimes I forget to be polite. If I was polite all the time, I would I would never have time to solve my crimes. I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, lobster cop. Perhaps. But detective, you must keep trying. Never give up. I can give you some tips if you'd like. Wow, yes please. Tip number one, pay attention. You should make sure you are looking at things and paying attention to words. Yes, quite right. Tip number two, everyone is a suspect. Even you. I will suspect myself much more from now on. Good call. Tip number three, carry a notebook. Oh, I'm not really big on books. They are, without exception, factually inaccurate. Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you are writing facts. I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook, though. Well, it's your lucky day. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. Wow, really? Yep. There are stickers you can use, too. I bought them with all my crime-solving money. Cool. I'll let you get to it, detective. Head to my office when you're ready to decorate. Okay. Thanks, lobster cop. Wow. Fucking banana peels. Whatever that is. Uh. He's been busy. <laughs> Look at that fucking ghost. Oh, are those my parents? He's getting sushi with my... Did you fuck my mom, Lobster Cop? Are you in a thruple with my parents? Hmm. Which stickers should I pick and where should they go? Oh, hell yeah. 
Oh, this is cool. Oh, I like the bird, if you can believe it. We'll put the bird right there. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, can I give the bird funny lips? That won't. Okay. That's too big. Uh, oh, let's put the cool cactus down here. Do you like the cactus? Can I give the cactus cool lips? Oh, that's comedy right there. That's comedy. That is hysterical. Uh, let's see. Oh, the cool sun's got to go up there. Uh, let's see. I'll put I'll put it right here. Like these are my notes. Um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, we do have an egg over here. Uh, let's do. Hmm. Let's put the snakes down here. Put two snakes. They're together. They're lovers. You know why? Because there's a heart there. They're in love. That's me and Tina as worms. Then, uh, let's see. Oh, I gotta have a big magnet. That's my thing. Put the magnet there. Oh, did I say snakes? I'm sorry. Yeah, they're worms. My bad. Uh, oh, wait. Let's increase the comedy some more. Can I give the cactus some boots? Oh, that's funny. Oh, this is hysterical. Can I put it on top of the boots? Oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on. This is... There we go. Guys, how funny is that? The cactus has boots on. That doesn't even make sense. That doesn't even make sense. Give it a hat. Oh, dude. This is great. This is great. Uh, and then we'll put... Uh, robots are kind of funny. Greg Miller. Put that there. Uh, the Mario Party trophy I'm never going to get. We'll put right there. And then we'll... Uh... Oh, can we do like... That's not really anything special. Um, and then uh, let's put a big UFO right there for the Ray Lamau line. And I think that's good. Oh, this guy looks fun. We'll put him there too. I think that's great. I think that's great. Yeah, dude. That's a great book. Yeah, I'm good with that. Got a notebook. I got an achievement. With tab. Oh, I can flip it. Magnifier notebook. Oh my god, they're adding so much in the second one. Invisible wizard. Okay. Oh, I can mark them as suspicious. That's funny. How's your book decorating coming along? It's right there on the desk, you know. I know. Just taking my time is all. Well, I haven't got all day. Just kidding. I do have all day. Take as long as you need. All right. I think I'm good. Hmm. Cool office. Supervisor, lobster cop, and me. That's me, smile. Time to solve another mystery. The gap between my eyes look like looks like a half pipe. Big bagel, thank you. Oh shit, I can't go past this gate. Gotta get out and walk. Warlock Woods is about to get a little spooky. The pose again? Dude, I'm a little I'm a little sexy frog. Oh, hi Susan. Ralph. Oh, it's Majima. Hi, Mandy. Mary. <laughs> Do you have a little lamp? <laughs> okay. Alright, dude. Okay. The case of the invisible wizard. Is there something if I try to leave again? No. Warlock Woods. Hmm. This area doesn't seem too big. 
Welcome. Hey. Hello, wizard. Right? Hello, wizard. This little guy. Oh, look at that zebra. I'm just trying to see how big this area is, and I'll start talking to people. Oh. I'm not sure why this pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. Oh, I got a pie. Cool. <laughs> One lost pie. Oh, hey, man. Um, okay. Guy in a hot tub back here, I guess. <laughs> okay, this is the party house. I can tell already. Hell yeah. Um, alright, I guess we'll go... I guess we'll go clockwise. Oh, my stars. It's you. It's me. The famous lobster cop. Yep. I really thought you'd be a lobster. Ah, no, I'm a frog. <laughs> yeah, why is your name Lobster Cop? I have to tell you something. I am not Lobster Cop. Why not? I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> Who are you? I am the detective. Uh, frog detective. I see. Was Lobster Cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency, which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Oh, I didn't know that's how that worked. You should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me, though. To remove all doubt. Okay. Question me all you like. Yeah, she clearly hasn't played Among Us. Self-reporting is a thing. Do you know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not her, not here at least. Not me. Right. But it had a lot to do with the organization of the parade. And I was the one to start the investigation. You mentioned that. It's worth bringing up again. So you were fine with her moving to the town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years and it's really nice someone wants to live there. It needs a lot of fixing up, but it'll look nice soon, I think. Plus, it's always exciting to have a new neighbor. Sure is. I put up a sign I made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. You can talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sign maker, yet, but I worked really hard on this sign. Really, I struggled to understand why someone would knock it down. It feels so heartless, and now I'm not sure who to trust. I thought everyone here would be thrilled to have a new neighbor. It's a tricky situation, for sure. Some people are protective of their communities and think new people are going to change things for the worst. Uh, but that's almost never the case. New people make places better because they bring new perspectives, especially in small communities. Hopefully it's just a misunderstanding or a mistake. I like to believe people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a suspect. But not me, right? Even you, especially you. Especially me. Oh, no. Sorry, not sure why I said that. But you're not off the hook just yet. Hook. That's it. Detective, could you please find me a hook? I could hang the sign back up with it. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Question me all you like. Just gonna play Dead by Daylight. Where were you on the night in question? I was at home knitting a jumper for the wizard. Really? Yeah, I picked all the colors myself and everything. Though I'll admit it's a bit hard to focus on knitting. Why's that? I get so distracted by the wool. It's so fun to play with. I play with it so much that I unravel the whole thing and it just goes everywhere. It's a big uh, nuisance. I understand. Uh, but I was concentrating on the knitting so much that I didn't notice the destruction of the parade. I'm sorry. Did you notice anything at all? Hmm. Now that I think of it, I saw a big van out near the entrance to Warlock Woods. It didn't drive in or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it at the time, of course. That's all I remember. Sorry. No worries. Question me all you like. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Motive. Maybe she didn't like her sign destroyed. Oh, what? And so she's not suspicious. This makes her much more suspicious. She realizes upset about the parade being destroyed. Worked really hard on her sign. Saw Van near the entrance last night. Uh, motive. Maybe she didn't like her sign. Destroyed the parade out of embarrassment. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, whoops. Yo, Simon! Thank you for the raid, man. Oh, whoops, wrong button. Oh, we gotta tap, okay. Oh, that's cute. Those are cute pictures. These are definitely, like, mom photos, like, Karen-esque. Oh, I didn't even notice that guy. Hi, Mary. La. Ooh, la, la, la. Hello? Hello, frog. Hello, what's your name? I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. You too. Did you like my song? Hmm, I did. I've been practicing all day and all night. Oh, are you okay? I'm tired. Hmm, maybe you should get some sleep. Maybe. You sing very loudly. Yep. I'm why everyone soundproofed their houses. That sounds expensive. Yeah, but that's not really my problem. You know what? Fair. I think I sound very good, even late at night. How late? I love to sing at 3 a.m. Wow. That's when my energy is the highest. That doesn't sound very healthy. My health is my business. Oh, yeah, that's true. Sorry. That's okay. Maybe I should listen to some soft sounds before bed. Whisper, whisper, walk into my hair salon. Snip, snip. That will be 100 money. <laughs> that would be 100 money. I don't have any hair or any money. That's okay. You can pay me back later. Just joking. Anyway, who are you? I'm the detective. Ooh, cool. Can you question me? Do you mind if I ask? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, boy. I love questions. I like her smiley shirt. What do you know about the wizard that moved in? Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't actually hear you. Oh, I was asking about the wizard. Oh! Yeah, there's a wizard. She just moved in. Why? I'm a detective. Right! This is part of the questioning. Right. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Uh, so I didn't do any crimes or anything. And I have the right to remain silent. Yeah, but do you want to remain silent? Ha <laughs> literally never. So, like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood the night that the parade was destroyed. And I heard that Naughty, like, attacked the wizard one time. And that's all, oh, actually. Does this make me a snitch? I think so. Rats. Oh, boy, I love questions. What were you doing when the parade was destroyed? Oh, boy, yeah. Sucks that the parade was destroyed. Oh, we're doing questioning. What was I doing? Not much, just singing outside. You were outside when the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Did you see anything? Yeah. What'd you see? Detective. Have you heard of extortion? Yes. That's great news. It is it? Detective, I would like to extort. <laughs> I don't think that's legal. I am above the law. <laughs> oh. Why are you extorting me? I would like five money for a train ticket. I don't have any money. Well, you best get some soon. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggywood to become a star. Oh, that sounds exciting. I know, right? Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have many other ways to get there. I figure if you get money for me, I can finally go and live my dreams. La! Well, you give me an exchange. Information. What kind of information? A phone number. Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is that they were in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number. Hence the extortion. Sorry. It's okay. We all get extorted every now and then. Yeah. Anyway, come back to me when you have my money. Oh boy, I love questions. Well, that's a character. Perhaps the wizard is a better singer than her. Needs five money. Notes. Sings really loudly at all times. Everyone soundproof the house wants to be a big star is extorting me. I have never been extorted before. What a thrill. What a thrill. Oh. You're the detective, right? I'm Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Be careful where you step, detective. There's mess everywhere. I'm used to mess. Lucky you. I'm not. My shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Detective? Are you joking? I can't wear flats with this look. 
Their proportions would be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. Oh. I'm one of the few actually witches here. Few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most folks here are just fans of the spooky. Which is fine and all, but it means a lot of the cleaning work will be mine to do. I never should have learned that tidying up spell. It shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess, but first I need to find all my pies. Oh, I have one. What happened to your pies? Same thing that happened everywhere. Someone thought it'd be funny to knock them all over. So annoying. I spent ages making them. Ah, I see. Well, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Tell me what you want to know. Oh, I guess I can give her the pie now. Do you need help finding your pies? Yes, detective. Seriously, I seriously need help. Straight up, I can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark, it's unreal. I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? <laughs> they weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Do you think I look amazing? Yep. Thanks, I do too. Worst purchase I've ever made in terms of practicality, but it brings this look to a new level. I may be a dingus, but I'm a very stylish dingus. What were we talking about? My outfit. No, before that. Pies! Right. You've offered to help pick up my pies. I'm missing quite a few. If you could bring them to me, I'd be happy to clean them all up and give you one as a payment. Okay, sounds like fun. Neat. Thanks, detective. Tell you what you want to know. All right, I'll hold on to this pie. I don't know if I'm going to need it for anything else, but I'll just hold on to it. And I assume there's more than one, but we, we have at least one pie. Uh, where were you last night? Doing heaps of push-ups and getting ripped. Just kidding. I was on whizbay.net, where magic happens, TM. What were you doing? Bidding on some new shoes. But you just got these ones. Yeah, but the ones I was bidding on would go super well with the blue dress I have. This blue dress I have. Wow, cool. I know. I didn't win, though. Who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is their screen name. Someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109 Sorry to hear it. How do you feel when you lost? A bit deflated. I went for a midnight stroll to cool off. But then... I saw someone in the distance. It was a pretty foggy night, so I couldn't see much. But they were carrying a large box. I couldn't see what they looked like, but they definitely weren't from here. It felt like they were waiting for someone. I didn't think too much of it and went home. Hmm. Did you hear any noise after that? No, my house is soundproof. Ever since Mary has taken up singing, it's kind of a ne uh, necessity around here. I only saw the mess in the morning. Interesting. Tell me what you want to know. I'm good for now. Hmm. Okay. Mandy. Oh, it's just five pies. Jesus. Last night was on Wizbay bidding for shoes. Someone knocked her pies over. What a bummer. Scold me about fashion. Fair enough. Real witch. Spooky. Can I go in these houses? Ooh. Hello, is anyone home? Oh, what the fuck is this guy again? Hey! Sound like someone's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. I'll come back another time. You son of a bitch! Who are you? Oh, hey, it's a pie. All right, we got two. Thank you, Rhyme. Striker as well, appreciate it. Carlos, a customer. Welcome to Carlos's All Things You Can Need shop. Are you Carlos? Yes, just like the name of the shop. That's me. Haha. -ha. How cool is that? The shop has my name in it. So cool. My company also has my name in it. What's your company called? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. What's your name? Crime? Oh, no. I'm the Frog Detective. That's not really a name, though. More of a title. Oh, I suppose you're right. My shop actually has my name in it. Cool. I'm jealous. <laughs> Thanks. Here in Warlock Woods, we are, are all our own biggest fans. Being conceited is a societal construct. We have rejected it. Hence why my shop is so popular. I sell portraits, among other things. Wow, that's great. My office neighbor, Lobster Cop, has a picture of himself right above his desk. You know Lobster Cop? Yup. Holy heck. I've been a fan forever. You know he solved the mystery of the haunted island recently. Oh... Uh, I don't think... It was actually me that solved it. Wait, really? 
It was all over TV. The dance competition had a lobster in it. Oh, you must be thinking of Larry. You mean small Larry? No, this was regular sized lobster. Ah, no. Larry is a regular sized lobster. Not the Larry I know. Oh well, agree to disagree. I really did solve that mystery. It was me, the detective. Hmm, that's really cool. Thanks. So you're like the second best detective, I suppose. Yeah. Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Okay. What would you like to know? The night in question. Uh, where were you last night? Just here, in my shop. What about when you closed up? My shop doesn't close. It's 24 hours. What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4 a.m.? You're open all the time? Sure am. Of course, I sleep and eat and look after myself. My customers simply wake me up if they need to buy anything. Where do you sleep? I sleep standing up. Years of training. I'm the most committed shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Also, the only shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. Do you ever take breaks? Hmm, sometimes. But I really like it here in my shop. It's where I feel most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take so much joy from my work. Me too! Although I must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you, need, if you need a break. Okay, I promise. Anyway, did you see anything last night? Nothing particularly interesting. Why? Uh, the crime? Huh? Hmm. I think I need to question you a bit more. Go for it. What would you like to know? What do you know about the new wizard that just moved in? Uh, who? The invisible wizard that moved in literally next door. Wait, really? Someone moved in? Yeah. That place has been empty for ages. I gotta say hi. Well, the parade was meant to be for saying hi. Parade? The parade that everyone has been prepping for? Wow, how nice. Can't wait. <laughs> is this me? Is this me with the lack of information just not list? This is me. I'm Carlos. It was destroyed last night. What? This conversation is a roller coaster of information. I have literally no idea what's happening. You weren't involved in the decoration at all? Nope. Should I offer to help now? <laughs> Wait, who is the parade for again? Is it for me? No, it's for the Invisible Wizard. She just moved in next door. Right. Okay. Uh, oh dear. The party hats. Pardon? Every time we throw a parade, everyone has party hats to wear. Mine was ruined at the last parade. I've been too busy working in my shop to buy a new one. Oh no. How embarrassing. I can't show up to the parade without one. Do you think it's too late to order one online? It'll be tight. You're right. Ah, what should I do? Don't stress. I'll track one down for you before the parade starts. Oh my gosh. Thank you, detective. In the meantime, I'll figure out a way to repay you. Unfortunately, I don't have any frog portraits just yet. Not a problem. What would you like to know? That's all. Thanks. That was a lot to take in. Could it be worried? I could be worried the wizard doesn't shop locally. Needs party hats. Notes. Busy boy. Works really hard. Didn't know anything that happened. Seems stressed about the parade. Doesn't have a hat. D this is me! This is me! <laughs> Especially this. Didn't know anything had happened. And I'm not wearing a hat right now. All right. Um. Oh, uh, that's where the that's where the wizard lives. Uh. Oh, we still have to talk to this person. How about cool guy back here? Hey, man. Room for one more. Hey, Victor. Hi. Hello. Want to hop in? A little bit. But I'm on a case. Oh, cool. I'm Victor. Who are you? The detective. Is that your real name? Maybe. Cool. Cool. Are you here to question me and stuff? Because, like, I'm not suspicious. How do you know you're not suspicious? I'm about to bust. Hank, same, but keep it in, alright? We know Victor's hanging dong in there. Well, I think I didn't do it. You think? Yeah, nobody knows anything for certain these days. So why are you here swimming? I'm visiting my friend Naughty. Oh, she's the only person I know with the hot tub. Plus, I heard there were going to be delicious pies for the parade, so the timing was perfect. Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot. I was thinking of taking a holiday there at some point. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, can I ask you some questions about the case? Yeah, whatever. Questions. Oh, can I give him the pie I have? I mean, it's... <laughs> it's not... It's dirty, but can I give him the pie? Or one of them? 
Did you know much about the Invisible Wizard before you came here? Yo, Mary, thank you for the thousand bits so you can buy yourself a hat. Hey, thank you. Thank you so much, Mary. Um, did you know much about the Invisible Wizard before you came here? Uh, not really. I knew the parade was for her, but beyond that, I didn't. Uh, I don't know a lot. Annoying that they never threw a parade for me come to visit. I'm super cool. Have you been here before? So many times. The first time they even threw me a parade. <laughs> okay. I take the parade thing back. Just pretend I didn't say that. Sure. Detective, I'm really bored of this conversation. I'm sorry if that's rude, but I have a new policy of being honest with people. Were you dishonest before? Yeah, I guess. I wouldn't tell people when they were boring me. I don't think that counts as dishonesty. So what am I supposed to do when people are boring? I'm not sure. But probably don't tell them. It would hurt their feelings. I didn't hurt your feelings, though, did I? Well, I have to admit, I was a bit hurt. I have a very exciting job, and I'm a frog, and I solve mysteries. I don't think I'm boring at all. Sure, but I've seen heaps of frogs before. Plus, I've solved my fair share of crimes. Which crimes? This one. You solved the crime already? Yeah. Ralph did it. How do you know? Uh, good point. I haven't decided that bit yet. But it seems likely that he did it. What was his motive? His what? A uh, motive. The reason for destroying the parade. Oh, uh, I think because he has an eye patch on. <laughs> I don't think that's a real motive. That doesn't make any sense. Now, who's the rude one? This conversation isn't going anywhere. Neither are you, apparently. Whoa! Not until I solve the mystery. I'm sorry for being rude, detective. I mean it. I just get so grumpy when I'm hungry. Why don't you eat something? And get out of the hot tub? No, I must continue to soak. You could ask someone to get you something to eat. Like who? There's nobody here. I am here. Right, there I go being rude again. If you happen to find food, I would love to have some. In the meantime, I would like to apologize for being so rude. Please take one money as an apology. I got one money. Questions. Uh, yeah, let me give him the lost pie. Hello, Victor, I have a pie for you. Detective, where'd you find this pie? On the floor right next to you. I found it on the ground. Sorry, Detective, you may have to speak up. These hot tub jets are mighty loud. I found this pie on the ground over there. Detective, I do not want to eat a ground pie. I have made a mistake. <laughs> I'd say maybe even two. Two mistakes? Yes, one mistake for giving me a dirty pie and another mistake for giving me a pie. That does not belong to you. Oh, there is more. That's right, detective. Though I am visiting from out of town, I know that is one of Mandy's pies. They are delicious. If you just happen to find it on the ground, it cannot be yours to give away, so I cannot accept it. You're right, Victor. I have made two mistakes. I am sorry, and I am sorry. That's okay, detective. But I'll be watching you. You should return this pie to Mandy. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, gross. What were you thinking? I fucking... I... I don't know what I, I'm so sorry. The game's scolding me. Let's see. Hadn't eaten, could have been jealous of the parade, needs something to eat. Such a rude individual, perhaps only rude because of hunger, but maybe just rude in general. Doesn't live here, only visiting. I want to visit Pumpkinville. All right, well, fuck you. Uh, it's the party house, right? All right, we got two more people to talk to. Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Are you sure? You can hear me at this volume? Yes. Weird. I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Really? Yes. But you're so small. I'm of average frog height. Hmm. Can I ask you some questions about the case? Question me, huh? They're questioning me, huh? How do you feel about the wizard moving in? Hmm. It's nothing against the wizard, but... I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now, and our space is big. But... I would really like my own home. Oh. I've been eyeing off that old house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day, but the wizard got there first. I see. It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold it against the wizard. Hmm. This house is twice as big as all the other houses. 
Maybe you could renovate it and turn it into two houses? You could split it down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one house downstairs. Like an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Hmm. I'll see if I can track some down for you. Thanks for your help, Detective. Maybe if I do a good job, I'll get my own building show. I'm excited to see it. May I ask why you have an eye patch on? That's Rolf's business. Oh! It'd be really good for me to know why you have an eye patch. Sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. That should make me suspicious. You put it on for fashion? Kind of. Detective, I don't want to get into this too much. But I watched a movie last night about pirates. And I loved it. And there's another three left. Three whole movies. Can you believe it? Sequels? I've never heard of a movie having a sequel before. <laughs> I know, right? Usually sequels are reserved for video games. Yes, it's extremely normal to have a video game sequel, especially for games with large audiences like the Toad Investigation series. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I was watching a pirate movie last night. That's where I was. And for that reason, I've decided to wear an eye patch. Okay. I'll leave it at that. My thanks. Hmm. All right. Great reasoning. Motive. In true pirate fashion, wants to cause a ruckus. Needs building supplies. Loves pirates. Eye patch is cosmetic only. A private boy. Wants to renovate. Thinks I am too small. I am not. <laughs> oh, they got two separate beds. Alright, I think this is the last person I have to talk to. Hello, Naughty. Hmm. What? Huh. Who are you? The detective. Oh! I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Huh? What? Did you say something about Lobster Cop? No. But I heard... Can this frog read my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Whoa! Is this what telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wow, this frog has a temper. Anyway, who are you? I'm Naughty. Okay. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Okay. Was it you that asked for me to come? No. I would have asked for Lobster Cop. I really need to emphasize that I can't hear you. Stop listening. Okay. Can I ask you some questions about the case? I guess so. Tell me what you want to know. Bro, this bitch. What can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh, but I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about her. That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Uh-huh. And she's invisible. Great. And she just moved in. Yup. And... She's a wizard. Think you mentioned that. No, nope, I don't think I did. Right, okay. Sorry. It's fine. Anyway, tell me what you want to know. I mean, I guess about the wizard, even though I know everything about the wizard. How do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Uh... Oh, heck, how do I answer this? Well, I'm happy she's here. But that house has been empty for ages, and I didn't know she was coming, right? Nobody told me, you see. Aren't you the mayor? I think so. A anyway, she kind of came at a weird time of night, and I, well, I thought that she was a ghost. Oh! Yeah, it was a bit messy. Oh? I tried to vacuum her up. With a vacuum. I put it on the highest setting. Just really went to town with the vacuum. I think I really freaked her out. And now she won't come out of the house. Uh, please don't put me in jail. You're not going to jail. Jail isn't real. <laughs> but you should probably apologize. Okay. Sorry, detective. <laughs> I mean to the wizard. Right, yeah. That's why I was helping with the parade. To apologize. But she hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. I see. This makes me sound really bad. I swear I wanted the parade to be lovely. As the mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song. But as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way, and I have no time to fix it. They're a very famous band. I want to be as professional as possible. If I only had a rug or something to use, I could cover up the mess. But the town is in disarray. I don't have time to track one down. Oh, no. Thank you for your concern. If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. we Will do. Do you have more questions? Hmm. Tell me what you want to know. I think that's everything. It could be anybody.
Try to vacuum up the wizard. Maybe there's some history there. Needs a rug. Thinks I can read minds. I can't? The mayor? Hired a cool band to uh, play the parade. Attacked the wizard. All right. I do think there was one more thing for me to ask this guy. I went for the pie, and then there was... Did I, did I get this from him? Where were you last? Where were you when the parade was destroyed? Well, I had been swimming all day in Nadi's hot tub, so I was super wrinkly. Yep. It was hard for me to get inside the house because of my wrinkly hooves. Uh-huh. So I waited for about half an hour for the wrinkles to de-wrinkle. Yep. And then I went inside to Nadi's house and stews on the couch all night. What time was that? All night. No, I mean, what time did you get back into Nadi's house? Before the parade was destroyed. It wasn't me. Probably wasn't me, I mean. Can't be sure. But 90% probability that it wasn't me. Questions? Cool. I think. Yeah, I don't know if... I, do, do hooves get wrinkly? I don't... I don't know. Oh. Well, there's another pie. Alright, that's what, three? And we need five? Do we need five or is it five total? Because then we'll just need like four because there's still one on the thing. Oh, <laughs> it's just right on the light. Okay. Dude, I walked past. I didn't even notice it. Okay, so I think we need one more. Chad, if you see another pie, just holler. I mean, the area isn't very big. It's just a matter of me looking at, like, every... I found it. Hey, chat, holler, holler, get dollar. There you go. Glass, that's a good emote combo. Oh, actually, let me switch screens to, to uh, intermission. YouTube, if you didn't notice, or you haven't seen it yet, we have a frog detective emote for today. Look how cute it is. It's literally the frog detective. It's a better TTV emote. It's so cute. And people are doing the frog detective looking for the pie. It's super cute. Maddie made it. Maddie Hunt. Hell yeah. Just want to show that off. Okay. Tell me what you want to know. I got your pies. Found all your pies. Wow, all of them? I think so. Yep, that looks like all of them. Wow. You must have searched far and wide. I searched the general vicinity, yes. Wowie. Thanks, detective. As promised, here's one money. All right, so we got two money right now. I don't think you ever promised payment, but thank you anyway. You're welcome. Oh, I'll give you a fresh pie, too. They're delicious. I'm not very hungry. You could hold on to it for if you like. Nonsense. Take one and eat it later when you're hungry. Okay, sure. Thanks. Thank you for finding my pies. All right. Now we'll go back to uh, Victor because we got some food for him. And this one is uh, fresh. And the game is not going to scold me. Oh, amazing baker. That's nice. Hey, man. Are you still hungry? Yes, very. It's making me really rude. For example, I think your jumper is outdated. Victor, I am not the most fashionable frog in the world, but I like this jumper. It's my favorite. You're right. It's retro, not outdated. I'm simply very hungry. You keep fucking making fun of me. I'm going to push your head underwater and not let you go. Look at these eyes. You know, I don't know why when I said that, I thought his nostrils were his eyes and his actual eyes were just like his ears. So his face looked way funnier. <laughs> it looks like the stare emote we have. Yeah, you know, classic frog ears. I don't know, I just focused on his nostrils and I'm like, those are his eyes. Frogs known for having their Dumbo-esque ears. Anyway, hey, I have a pie for you. Sorry, I'm fucking freaking out. It's not from the ground? Nope. Mandy gave me a fresh one. Seriously? Score. Yep. Please enjoy it. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. And I feel much less rude now. Really? Yep. You have beautiful eyes. Wow, wow, thank you. It's true. And I think that color jumper suits you perfectly. You're making me blush. I should give you something in return for this pie. Hmm. 
I have a spare party hat I'm not using. Maybe you could wear it. Alas, my head is simply too weird a shape. Well, hold on to it anyway. It might come in handy. Thanks. All right, let's go back to Carlos. Beautiful eyes. Oh, I didn't add anything. No, I guess he's still rude. Hey, fuck you, Victor. Do you see what I mean by the puzzles are simple? Yeah, it's just fetch quests. It's fetch, fetch quests in a pretty small area. I guess the hardest thing so far would be, like, finding the pies. What would you like to know? Got a party hat for you. Carlos, I have something for you. No way. It's a party hat. No way. Yes way. That's epic. That's honestly the most epic thing I've heard all day. Thanks, detective. Not a problem. Incorrect. It was a problem. And you solved it. Just like a true detective. Oh, thanks. You've made a fan out of me. Here, let me pay you for your work. Oh, no, that's okay. Detective, I insist you take payment. One money should do it. Thanks. Oh, I also found this rug out back. Not sure what to use it. Uh, what use it is, but I figure you're good at solving these types of puzzles. Oh, I forgot who needed a rug. I could check the book, though. I'll find a use for it. Thanks. Best of luck solving the mystery, detective. Rug! This is almost like those... Oh. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, no, I don't have a hat either. I can probably borrow one. It's fine. Am I invited to parade? I hope so. Oh, whoops. This is like those YouTube channels or like those blog posts where someone just keeps trading up. Oh, sh the mayor needs the rug. It's like the Yakuza trade quest. Yeah, it's like the first trade quest I ever did was... Fuck. I think Ocarina of Time. There was one in Paper Mario I did, but I think Paper Mario came out after Ocarina of Time. I think it was Ocarina of Time and then Paper Mario was... I think Paper Mario was longer, though. Anyway. Tell me what you want to know. Great news. What is it? I have found you a rug. What? What? Holy guacamole! This is great news. Thanks for tracking it down. This should do the trick. Wow, looks like new. Looks just like new. Hopefully the band won't notice the mess. I don't think they will. They're in a fish tank anyway. Why? One guess. They're fish? Bingo! Wait, do you mean to tell me you got the most famous band of all time? The Market Buddies? Yep. They're on their way. Wow, I saw them live once. I was blown away. I can't wait. I'm excited too. I can't wait for the parade to begin. I better get back to work so I can solve the mystery before the parade starts. Ooh, excuse me. Before you go, I should give you something in return. Oh. Building supplies. Give it to Majima over here. I have some building supplies left over from when I made the stage. Is that enough? Sure, thank you. Yeah, Joel is coming. Plus one money. Oh, no, that's okay. It was simply a favor. Don't be silly. You worked hard to get me this rug. I insist. Wow, thanks. It's just Joel in the fish tank spinning. The detective invited himself. <laughs> Chat, this game's fucking fun. I hope you're enjoying it. I know it's like pretty silly and pretty easy, but uh, it's a good time. It's a good meme game. It is. It's like, I don't know if I would call it a meme game. Meme games generally are bad. This is, it's just a funny, cute game. Oh, you know what I could do actually? Sorry to kind of tangent off of calling this a cute game. I Can I buy something from here? Will this like ruin it? Like I have $4. Can I buy, um? oh, can I buy the picture of this dog? Or like, fuck, I want to buy something. Can I buy the broom? Oh, do I, maybe I have to talk to him. Oh, I can't buy a photo. This. Dude, look at that dog. For $3? I'm sorry, 3 money? That's a steal. 
I have three money. I don't want to give five dollars to what's her face. She's loud and I don't like her. This dog though? Would you like to buy it? I would. Yes, I would like to buy this picture with my three money. It's all yours. Is mom gonna scold me? Hello, detective. I'm sorry to interrupt you. As you may remember, I'm Grace. I made this game with my studio, Warm Club. I was tracking your progress when I noticed that you spent your money on a picture. You've really complicated things for me. <laughs> See, there's only five money in the game. In order to solve the mystery, you need all five money. But you spent three money. So now what? If I was anyone else, I'd end the game here. However, I'm very generous and kind. I'm going to give you another three money so you can solve the mystery. This comes from my own pocket, so please don't spend it on anything that isn't relevant to the story. I'll let you get back to it, and yes, you can keep the picture. <laughs> Free picture! <laughs> Big spender, hey, stop. Oh, God. Oh, I can't make her a suspect. That's funny. Is it actually in my inventory? Oh, it's not there. God damn. Okay. Hey, you got anything else for $3? Damn it. Okay. All right, let's go to Majima. Boone and sadly, thank you guys for the resubs. Questioning me, huh? Got your building supplies. Hi, Ralph. Hello, small frog. I managed to track down some building supplies. Oh, great. What exciting news. I love to use them if you're okay to hand them over. Of course. Excellent. Thank you so much. Of course, I, uh, of course I must pay you for this. Oh, there's no need, really. Shh, I won't hear it. Please take a money. Hey, I got my five money. Thank you. Also, I think you've earned yourself the title of Honorary Pirate. Yo! Wow. Really, me? A pirate? Yes, you have the treasure collecting skills of the finest pirates. For this, I must award you a special prize. Here, take this hook. Oh, that's for uh, Susan. Wow. What do I do with this? You can use it on your hand if you want, or you can use it for something else. I'm not your dad. Oh, yeah, well. Not... Did you fuck my mom, Majima? Sorry, I don't really know why I said that. All good. Enjoy the hook. Okay. Susan, I got your hook. Question me all you like. I'm back. You're back. Yep. I found you a hook. Oh, my stars. Thank you. I can fix my sign right away. That's okay. <laughs> Yo, Kron, thank you for the five. Now Ray has five money. Take that, Mary. <laughs> I would like to repay you for the hook. No, that's okay. I got it for free. Nothing is free in this world. Just kidding. Our society is really progressive and often things are actually free. As a sign of my gratitude, please feel free to use my house whenever you need. Oh. Oh, okay. It's fairly simple, but beautifully decorated, at least. I have a phone, too. Great. I'll be sure to use that at some point. Thanks, Susan. Hmm. It's a cute house. Hmm. Who should I call? Oh, right. I need the number first, idiot. I need to go to, uh, what was her name, Mary? Oh boy, I love questions. Also, yeah, the text that said, I don't have any friends to call is very depressing. Hi, Mary. Hey, detective, how's the extortion going? I think I've got your five money. Whoa, for real? I didn't think the extortion would work so quickly. That's excellent news. I'm really good at being extorted. I'll say. Anyway, do you have the information for me? Totally. Last night, I saw the postman drop off a parcel. It was around the time the parade got destroyed. 
I couldn't see who he was giving it to, but he was someone here in, t in the town. Barney is the postman's name. He's a chill dude. I don't think he'd mind if you called him up. I have his phone number. May I have it? Absolutely. Thanks for giving me this money. I'm really excited to visit Froggywood. I'm excited for you. Obviously, I have to wait until the parade is over. Of course. See you around, detective. All right. We got what we need. Okay. I like my little symbol for phone. Goodbye, Mary. Hmm. Who should I call? Mysterious number. Ooh, nice piercing. Hi, it's Barney. I have you on speaker. Hi, Barney. Hi. Who am I talking to? Hmm. Lobster cop. Wow, really? No, I was tricking you. Rats. Who is this? Noodle? I'm the detective. I'm calling about an incident that happened last night at the Warlock Woods. I didn't do it. Do what? Whatever you're calling about. Wasn't me. Are you sure? What did I do? Last night, someone destroyed a parade which was being set up for the new resident of the town, the Invisible Wizard. I was told you were in the area when it happened. Oh yeah, I was there. Didn't destroy anything, if that's what you're asking. I was just delivering a parcel. Who are you delivering it to? Uh, hmm. What was her name? Oh, Lola. Huh? I don't think anyone here in town is called Lola. It must have been someone who lives there. The address was on the parcel. Though I can't remember exactly which house it was. Sorry. Huh. Do you remember where the parcel was sent from? Oh, yeah. I deliver a lot of parcels from them. It was from whizbay.net headquarters. That sounds really familiar. Who ever heard that name before? Uh, I know Mandy buys a lot of stuff from there. But this wasn't for her. Do you know what was in the package? Some sort of shoe, I think. Maybe two? A pair of shoes? Did you get a good look at them? It was pretty dark. I have no recollection of really seeing anyone. Not even a face. Huh. Weird. Warlock Woods is pretty dark, but I haven't had much trouble seeing anyone before. Me neither. It wasn't much, uh, much more dark than normal either. All I remember is a blue dress with stars on it. Pretty stumped on this case, Barney. Do you know if there were any clues left behind? A signature on the delivery slip or something? Uh, I didn't get them to sign it. But I remember something dropping over at the entrance to the woods. I tried to call out and tell them, but they stumbled off before I noticed. At the entrance of the woods, you say? I'll check it out. Magic shoes, huh? Accidentally crashed his van to the decorations, drove away without realizing. Cool guy. Didn't see who he was delivering to. Lola. Responsible driver. Had me on speaker. I should search near the woods uh, entrance. Okay, see if what happened. Was it you? Ooh, glasses. This must be the thing Barney was talking about. Hmm, they're glasses. Glasses cameo. Oh, they have a name engraved on the arm. The Invisible Wizard. Well, this is my only clue left. I think I should try and return these to the wizard. She should be in the old house near Carlos's shop. Yo, first off, though. You're suspicious, Susan. Also you. Got my eyes on you. I wonder if that actually does anything. Or if it's just a cute little add-on for funsies. Hello, is anyone home? I found these glasses. What's up, cages? Oh! Oh, there's a pie in here. There's a bunch of pies in here. And Doritos, I think. Yeah, dude. Okay. Oh. Holy shit, they're gone. No, 
Oh, they're too fast. Rule of three. We got rule of three in chat. Oh, I can see him right there through the, through the crack. Ooh, I like the noise. Oh, the door's open. I like the little noise. The audio's good in this. Oops. Is that me? Is that... Is that me? Can't be me. I don't have the magnifying glass. Are you a fan? Invisible wizard. Ah, who's there? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. You're here to solve the mystery. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know where my glasses are. So solve that as soon as possible, please. Thanks in advance. I found your glasses, I think. Are these yours? Ah, I can see again. That was so quick. You should get a promotion. I don't remember calling a detective to solve this mystery, but I must have done. Uh, otherwise, why would you be here, right? Ha ha. Ha ha. Yeah. Well, no. I'm actually here to solve a different mystery. Which one? I don't mean to ruin the surprise, but the town was setting up a parade for you. I'm sorry to tell you that last night someone destroyed it. I've been trying to figure out why. However, I've noticed that your house is littered with the decorations. Where were you last night? I was on Wizbay. I got some new shoes. I picked express delivery. They arrived last night. Oh, you're Lola? Yes. Back to my alibi. I went to pick up my shoes uh, from delivery guy. And then I dropped my glasses. Oh. And that's all I have to say about that. Are you sure? Yeah, I think someone else must have destroyed the parade. Perhaps one of my enemies. You have enemies? Uh, yeah. Who? The guy. Evil guy. S sorry, what? Enemy. Evil guy. He plays the bassoon? You don't know him? Shadow. Thank you for the four years. Evil guy, my enemy. Evil guy. Yeah. Are you making this up? No, evil dude is really my enemy. Don't you mean evil guy? Evil guy. Your enemy. Yes. Where can I contact evil guy? Oh, he's not able to be contacted. He's very mysterious and is not available right now. Or ever, even. Anyway, he must have destroyed the parade. Okay, solved. We did it. Well done. Wow. Too bad he's not able to be apprehended, but at least we can continue with our lives. Lola, are you being dishonest? Yes. I'm really sorry. It was me. It was an accident, I swear. You destroyed the parade, didn't you? Wah! I didn't know the parade was for me. That's so nice. And I ruined it. When I dropped my glass, I couldn't find my way home. I was bumping into everything. What happened when you got home? I had some chips stuck to me. So I ate those. And then I just hid. Why didn't you tell anyone what happened? I'm so embarrassed about it. I only just moved in and already I've made a big mistake. I'm a very shy lady detective. I make myself invisible so no one can see me. That must be why no... Must have been why nobody saw you last night. Yes, I suppose. Can you become not invisible? Uninvisible? Visible? If you insist. Ta-da! You're a frog like me! Yes. I'm slightly disappointed. What? Well, it's just that I had a good joke prepared. I will do it anyway. Okay, so imagine that instead of a frog, you're revealed to be a lizard. Oh, no. Okay, so you've just been revealed. Okay, pretend. Okay, it's me, a lizard. Wow, so you're not an invisible wizard after all. You're an invisible lizard! Hey. Yeah, it was a good joke. I thought so. Detective, are you going to tell everyone? Hmm. I'm brand new and it was a mistake. I'm worried that if you tell everyone what I did, they will be upset. I think they forgive you right away. But what if they don't? I want to make a good first impression. When we go outside, can you please tell them that it was evil guy? But that's a fib. A white lie, perhaps. But who is it harming, really? Evil guy. Evil guy isn't real. This is a moral dilemma, Lola. Just like in my favorite episode of... Parriot. Parroit? What the fuck? Parrot. It's your choice, detective. Let's face the music. Random Swahili thrown in there. That was weird. Don't know why games do that.
This is me forcing my joke on someone who doesn't really want to hear it. Oh, welcome to my stream. Uh, Invisible Wizard needs glasses. Uh, shy Lady, a frog, just moved in, made a big mistake, lied about half- Oh, okay, guess we're fucking- I wasn't done reading, but okay. Hello! Hi! My name is Lola. Hi, Lola. I am a frog. Just like me! We're so glad you could make it, Lola. I'm sorry there's been so much commotion trying to get the parade ready for you. Somebody destroyed it last night. Mary, don't tell her that. We're sorry that someone destroyed it, Lola. The detective has been trying to figure out who did it. Well, detective, have you solved the mystery? I hope it wasn't me. <laughs> I'd be surprised if it was any of us. I wouldn't. Looking at you, Ralph. What? Ralph didn't do it, Victor. How many times do you have to tell you? I just don't trust that guy. Rude. I'm not rude anymore, Ralph. I had food. I don't think that's how it works. I didn't do it. Well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. Go ahead, detective. Oh, shit. Chat, what do I do? What do I do? I don't want to throw evil guy under the bus, dude. He didn't fucking do anything. Yo, bros before hoes. Fuck you, Lola. You did it. I got you, evil guy. I got you. I got you. I solved the mystery. It was this bitch. It was. It was, it was Lola. What? No, what? I said it. It was an accident. Lola dropped her glasses last night while picking up some shoes she bought on Whiz Bay. Oh my gosh, those are the ones I really wanted. They look amazing. Lola can't see without her glasses, so she had a lot of trouble getting home last night. She bumped into just about everything. I'm so sorry. I feel awful. Or so awful. I realized what had happened when I had lots of chips stuck to me. I ate them. They were delicious. The parade was for me all along, and I didn't realize. Lola was very scared of your reactions, so she hid in her house out of shame. Oh, Lola, it's okay. You should have told us. We completely understand. Yeah, Mary destroys stuff all the time. Yeah, I, I really do. <laughs> Plus, Nani tried to vacuum you up, so I feel like the parade being destroyed is kind of fine. I thought she was a ghost. That's what they all say. We're all really excited you're here, Lola. We don't need decorations anyway. I really thought Ralph did it. Victor! Victor, apologize to Ralph. Ralph, I'm sorry I accused you. It's okay. I'm also sorry. I really didn't mean to destroy the parade, but I should have spoken up when I did. I'm a very nervous lady. Plus, what a terrible first impression. Not as bad as my first impression. Barney? What did you do? Were you here the whole time? I just never realized? I ran over Mary by- What? I ran over Mary by accident. Huh. Yeah. That was really painful. Ha ha ha. Should we get this party started? What do you think, Lola? Yes, please. Classic Barney. Up and Adam Gaming, thank you for 13 months. I solved the mystery! I'm wearing a hat, kind of, sort of. I'm wearing like a patch, an eye patch. See, chat, this one was a little bit longer. This one was but like an hour, maybe. Maybe like hour 15. All right, we got one more that hopefully you can finish up in like two and a half hours. I'm sure we can, but. Yeah, dude. This game is so cute. It's so well written and the music bops. Complete your notebook. I am an expert investigator. Oh, I have the 
picture. <laughs> yes. What, snitch? What do you mean, snitch? What do you, I was doing my job. What the fuck do you mean? Bro, are you kidding me? Oh, you know what? I wonder if there's two achievements. I wonder if you have to, if you pick evil guy, you get a different one. Anyway, uh, hey, we kept the picture, which is great. And then here's the yeah, dance party. Dude. This is what, this is the new hype train. This is what the new hype train looks like. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Detective. Supervisor. It's me, the supervisor. I am aware. Great job on solving the Invisible Wizard mystery. That was quite a head scratcher. Sure was. I was shocked that the culprit was the wizard herself. Yeah, the mysteries I solve are never what they seem. It's always a misunderstanding or an accident. Nobody's ever malicious on purpose in my mysteries. I'm so glad that crime isn't real. <laughs> Didn't you get extorted earlier? Yes. I think that's a crime. I suppose that crime is real after all. Your office is called Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Yes. Detective, why do you believe that crime isn't real? I was simply exaggerating. Plus, despite my job title, I never really seem to be solving crimes. That's going to change in a moment, I think, Detective. Ooh, super duper. I just got a call about a doozy of a case, Detective. That sounds exciting. It is, but it's also the most challenging case I've ever sent you on. I'm confident in your abilities, but you might need backup on this one. Oh, like who? I'm going to send lobster... Oh, God. I'm going to send lobster cop to help you with the case. Really? Lobster cop handles such advanced cases when I just slow him down? Nonsense, Detective. You've shown you're a very capable mystery solver. I think you're in the running to be the new number one. You're making me blush. Uh, you'll be A-OK. -okay. So, where am I headed next? I can't say over the phone. It's too sensitive. Wow. Head to the train station. I've left a ticket for you there. The train will take you to where you need to be. Good luck, Detective. Do you think you'd handle it? I can't handle anything. After the detective has left, uh-oh. Frog detective's just dead on the ground, hands tied behind his head, or hands tied behind his back with a bullet hole in his head. Game takes a real dark turn. Look how funny the cactus is. I did such a good job. Bro, not my notebook. No! My notes. I spent so much time on that. Later at the station. Oh, look at the conductor! The music also got much louder for some reason during this scene. Yo, Red Dead 3, the detective will return in. Oh, shit! Cowboy County. Corruption at Cowboy County. <laughs> Man, imagine having to wait a year to play this. That's kind of cringe. I'm just going to play it right now. Instead of waiting a year. I know it was rough. Got to change what directory we're in. All right. Case three, baby. Final case. God, I got to piss again. I'm so sorry. Old man bladder. I should have waited a year to make classes suffer. 
the dynamic duo. All right, I'm gonna go piss, girl. I'll be right back. All right, YouTube, we're back. Let's uh, finish this slapper. Maddie, maybe another emote. Oh, it's my cactus. My cute cactus. Hey, Mary. Hey, it's Mary. Remember me? How can I forget? I know it's been a while, so I thought I'd give you a quick recap. It's been uh, two minutes. After the detective, that's you. Solved the case of the Invisible Wizard. Mysterious phone call came in. Well, it wasn't that mysterious. It was the supervisor, as usual. But the contents of the phone call were mysterious, you know? Okay, so let's set the scene. I'm a good actress. It'll be exactly like what happened. Oh, okay. This is a clever way to do the tutorial. Oh my gosh, hey, it's me, the Detective Frog. Hey, <laughs> Hey, gorgeous, I'm the supervisor. I'm kind of like your boss, but not officially. Oh my gosh, I know, it's so hard to describe our professional relationship, but you're like a helper of sorts. Yes, exactly, like a manager almost. Yeah. Okay, so I have a new mystery for you. Can you even believe it? Yes, haha, it's my job to solve mysteries. Haha, obviously, I was being dramatic. Classic supervisor. Okay, so what's the case about, babe? I love your enthusiasm, but it's actually really sensitive, so I can't tell you on the phone. Aw, oh, boo. I know, bummer. Makes it so much more exciting, though. For sure, yeah. Can you do me a huge favor, lovely? What? Grab your magnifying glass next to the door and head to the train station. There's a ticket for you there, and it'll take you on a little trip. Okay, or cute, okay. Okay, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, love, later. Sick, now I can solve the case. I'm the frog detective. I like how it's her hand. All right, then I leave. And someone takes my book. Okay, so the detective heads to the train station. It's, it's all so cool. Like, there's a new color scheme and stuff. <laughs> but can you believe it? Someone literally takes the detective's notebook. It's so messed up. Actually, tears in my eyes. Seriously. I don't think the detective knows about the stolen notebook yet. So, you're actually up to date now. So please, if you could leave a review of my acting skills, I'd super appreciate it. Okay, enjoy the case. Oh, look at my cool boots. I got cowboy boots. Oh, it has brakes. Never mind. Hell yeah. All right, we're off. Oh, please tell me. Oh my god, please tell me I could use this. All right, grab the phone through the wall. Hello, this is Frog Detective from Frog Detective Prime Solving Agency speaking. How may I help you? Why'd you answer the phone like that? What's that supposed to mean, Supervisor? This is a random phone on the street. Why'd you assume it was ringing for you? I'm the only one here. You don't think it's a little weird? Not really. You're the one making a phone call to a random phone. Because I knew you'd be there. Now who's the weird one? Regardless, I'm glad you picked up. I'm sure you're curious about the mystery. I sure am. Give me the details, please. I cannot. Someone may be listening. What? Who? I saw on the internet that it's possible for strangers to listen to phone calls. Who said that? My cousin wrote all about it on his blog. Okay. Well, if you're not going to tell me the details, why'd you call? I have a special surprise for you. As you know, the terrain of Cowboy County is vast and rough. I've ordered something special from Wizbay to help you get around. Ooh, is it a horse? What? No. Why would you say that? It's a cowboy town. What do you mean? Cowboys ride horses. Are you being serious? Horses are valued members of society. It would be demeaning to ride them around. It's messed up to you even say that. Right. Sorry. I just got confused. Don't worry about it. What'd you order then? A scooter, of course. Sick! It should be next to you in the phone booth. Bold choice to have it shipped to a public phone booth. Please stop questioning my choices. Anyway, when you're ready, pick up the scooter and get some practice in. Lobster Cop arrived early and will be waiting for you at the town. Just follow the path to meet him and have fun. Hope you have fun too. I will. All right, see ya. My very own scooter. Sick. Got a scooter.
Hop on with left shift. Yo! Let's go! This is the greatest game ever! Yo, can I do like flips and shit? No. That would be sick though. Yeah! Oh my god, you move around so much faster. Okay. I'm gonna assume there's nothing over here of interest, but I guess you never know. I'm gonna actually just go into town. Ooh, can I go like can I go back this way? Oh, the little bumps of the of the track. I like the music. Yeah, invisible walls. Okay, we'll head into town. Whoops. Oh, so fucking cool! Super hot. That's a different game. What do you mean? <laughs> Up and over, baby. Defy gravity. Lobster cop. My frenemy. Oh, is he about the T-post for dominance? Oh, Susie Rabbit. Hi, Susie. Or Sussy, maybe. Oh, not Sherman and the Bandits! Hey, that's me. It's you! You son of a bitch! I know who you are. What well, kind of? All right, we're here. K Kona, brother. What's up, Bilby? That was a very intense music cue. I see why they give you the scooter. This area is. While not huge, it's definitely much bigger. And get it. Oh, I, okay. I was, I was going the. Anyway, hey man. Hey lobster cop, I'm here to help solve the mystery. Right on time, detective. I'm known worldwide for my timeliness. Is that so? Nope. Can you tell me about the case, lobster cop? I sure can. We've been sent here to solve the conundrum of the sheriffless county. Ooh. This town was thriving, detective. A marvel of productivity, friendship, community, and cowboys. But there was something missing. A sheriff. Yeah. I was kind of leading up to that. My bad. For the sake of storytelling, can you please not interrupt? I sincerely apologize. I love how Lobster Cop is just like... So anyway, I've lost where I was going with this. You said there was something missing. Right, there was something missing. A sheriff. The town had realized that for all these years, they were missing a vital ingredient for cowboy living. They contacted the supervisor and he contacted me. And me. Yeah. Anyway, here we are. I'm going to be honest, Lobster Cop. The supervisor really hyped this case up. Like, there are two of us here. Two uh, to facilitate the hiring for a management position. Detective, you read my mind. The supervisor really dropped the ball. Did you really think I need your help? No, me neither. And as it turns out, I didn't need your help. The position has been filled. Uh, oh, I knew the perfect boy for the job. Presenting the new sheriff of Cowboy County, Mason Mole. You son of a bitch. It's you. Wow. Congratulations on such a speedy resolution, Lobster Cop. Thank you. Well, I guess I'll head back to the office. Nope. No. Hmm? No, you cannot. Is there something you need help with? Yes. What is it, Sheriff Mason Mole? Mystery. Crime mystery. Please solve this. What's the mystery? All hats have been stolen. You're wearing a hat. Not my hat. Town hats. Can you elaborate? 
All the hats in the town have been stolen. Please solve this mystery as soon as possible. Do you have any leads? No. Get to work, please. Well, you heard the sheriff. Okay. Um, is there really no additional information? No. But here's your notebook. I'm sorry? Here, notebook. Someone mailed it to you. I didn't even know it was missing. Not missing. It's right here. <laughs> Can I ask a question? No, I am busy. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. What a legend. You, do you know each other? Sure, but how much can you really know someone, right? What? Don't worry about it. Now, detective. It's true, I barely know Tina, and we've been married for over two years. Uh, now, detective, as I am the lead investigator on this case, I trust you will follow my guidance. Oh, I didn't know you were the lead. It's a safe assumption to make. Right, of course. So I'll be investigating leads, but I could use your assistance. Sure, what do you need? Hmm. I'll handle the motive and the suspects. You handle the crime scene and method. Okay. It's an easier task for a rookie like you. All you need to do, all you need to find is a map of the crime scene, a tool capable of aiding criminal activity. Let's write this shit down because I'm not going to remember. Oh, I guess I put it in my notebook. Never mind. I have the notebook now. A key. Oh, a key. A keyblade? And lastly, not to mention, most importantly, a meal for the number one best detective. Oh. Okay, yeah, chat, write all that down. Write all that down. A meal. Yes, detective. Keep up. I'm very, I'm a very hungry boy and will need sustenance to solve the mystery. I have some sandwiches I was saving for the afternoon, afternoon tea, if you like that. No, I need a proper meal. I hear you loud and clear. I'll make sure to get those for you. If you need to be reminded of what I want, come and see me by the graveyard. Will do. Good luck, lobster cop. I don't need it. Good luck, detective. It's the same notebook. Let's go. Mystery of the missing hats. Okay. Lobster cop. <laughs> good, uh... Good angle. What you see when you're sucking. Uh, he needs a bunch of things. Motive. There's no possible motive for lobster cop to do this. Hey, it's lobster cop. Number one best detective. I'm very jealous. So tall. Oh, I made it to town. Howdy. What, Ray? Uh, what do you mean? All right, I'm gonna go back over here. What's over here? Oh! Such beautiful flowers, very spiky looking too. Okay, I gotta grab that later. Look! They're friends! That's very cute. Also, you know, not as... Not as cool as my cactus, but you know, a cactus all the same. I'm here now. Ooh. Hello, little snake. All right, there's the graveyard over there. What's over here? Uh, fucking spider, get away from me. Another flower. Oh, this guy's over here. Oh, there's a shovel. That might be the tool we need. Just getting a little bit of a lay of the land. Don't mind me. Sick jump! All right. Um, yeah, graveyard's over there. Over here, we got a snake. Okay. It's back here. Ah, a well. Okay. <laughs> well, that's interesting. <laughs> uh, another flower up here. Okay. And this is where I came from, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. I guess we'll start uh, just going to this first building. Hey, man. Hey, guys. Hi, Craig. If you're here from the Evil Secret Society, please leave me alone. I'm not interested in joining. What's the evil secret society? Nice try. I know the society's tricks. Well, I'm actually here from the Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Oh, yeah. We're your credentials. Uh, well, I am a detective and a frog, and I'm here to solve a mystery slash possible crime. Do you have any identification? Just my face. I have a magnifying glass. Do you have, do you have identification? 
No, but I'm Craig. Everybody knows me. I would normally believe you, but your appearance does seem to match what you're saying. But just know I don't trust you. I wouldn't expect you to. We just met. Detective, I'm someone that is regularly messed with. There are many different societies around here, and they all want me to join. Ooh, Craig, very popular. But I'm a lone ranger. I have no interest in being a part of these secret societies. What types of secret societies are there? For starters, you've got the naughty little guys. <laughs> the naughty little guys. Ooh. They've been after me for years. Uh, the posties are another one. They go around delivering mail. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a secret society. I think that's more of a public service. Then why can't we open everyone's mail? Not so public if you ask me. Open your eyes. Another society is the Ghost Spotters League. Oh, wait, I think I've heard of them. Yes, despite being a secret society, they're quite well known. To be honest with you, I said earlier that I wasn't interested in being a part of any society, but that's only half true. Oh? The Ghost Spotters League is really exclusive, and I'm kind of bummed they've never tried to recruit me. Are you a keen ghost spotter? Well, that might be the problem. To be inducted into the League, you need to have spotted a ghost, and you haven't seen any. Correct. I don't know why I'm telling you all this. You could be anyone. I'm the detective. It's a compelling disguise, I'll give you that. Do you know much about ghosts? Well, I solved a mystery involving one. The mystery of the haunted island. Check back in from like two hours ago. Although it wasn't haunted in the end. So no, you could have saved us both time and just said no. Sorry, no, I don't know much about ghosts. Can I ask you some questions? Everybody always wants information from me. How close are you to spotting a ghost? What kind of question is that? How am I supposed to know? Ghosts aren't cool bugs, detective. You can't just spot them out and about. How does it work, then? Well, the requirements are pretty flexible. Basically, the society just needs a credible ghost sighting story or tangible proof of a ghost, like a photo. Do ghosts show up in photos? It depends, but yeah. The saloon has a bunch of photos, but I don't want to send in the wrong one and embarrass myself. I don't know which ones are of ghosts and which ones are just normal photos. Hmm. Sounds like a bit of a puzzle. They're so strict, if I get my application denied three times, I'm banned from ever applying again. I'm on my second strike. What'd you send in the first two times? I faked the first two sightings. I dressed up as a ghost and ran really fast, so I looked like a blur in the photograph. They're so clever that they figured me out right away. That's how I know that they're the real deal. I like your creativity, though. Thanks. Say, if you happen to stop by the saloon, could you take a look and see if you can tell which of the photos has a ghost in it? I don't really care about actually spotting a ghost myself. I just want to be part of the society. I suppose that's fair enough. Sure, if I have time, I'll take a look. Thanks. I don't suppose there's a secret society that is dedicated to stealing hats. Uh, not that I'm aware of. But that's the thing, detective. These societies run, uh, run deep. I've barely scratched the surface of what there's to know. They run everything. Everywhere you've ever been, anything you've ever done, it's all dictated by the secret societies. Surely that can't be true. You think not, but it's true. How'd you know it's true? I'm part of several forums dedicated to uncovering the truth. Oh, God. Is it a secret forum? What? Ah, uh, like, is it the is forum? Is the forum also a secret society? I never thought of that. I'll have to look into it. No, I'm just joking. I don't see you could joke about something like this. Secret societies run everything. Craig, I just don't think that's true. Oh, yeah? What evidence do you have that's not true? None. I suppose just a lack of evidence of it being true. I would say it's more of a lack of evidence of it not being true. Agree to disagree. I'll agree to be right, and you agree to be wrong. Okay, sure. Thanks, man. Is Craig a flat earther? Absolutely. Absolutely. He needs definite proof of a ghost. Wanted membership to Secret Hat Sealing Society. Um, either a conspiracy theorist or knows way more about the world than me does not buy my does not buy my detective disguise drat. Just wants to be part of something. Yeah, most flat earthers do just want to be part of something. Is the door a safe? And then there's a to another safe? Anyway. Hey, you, me? Yeah, you. Can you do me a favor? Uh, it depends on the favor. What? I can't just agree to doing you a favor. I don't even know who you are. I'm Susie Rabbit. Can you do me a favor? I, you're the best, thanks. Okay. I need you to help me break into this bank. I will not. Huh? Dude, you already agreed to do it. I don't appreciate you lying to me. If you said you'd do me a favor, you should keep your word. I didn't agree to the favor. 
Oh, so now you're changing the story. Whatever, dude. Just leave me alone. Ooh, she's mad. She is upset. It's crazy how uh, the devs of this game modded in my ability to talk to women so well. It's like they know me in real life. How do they do that? This fucking... What the fuck? Charlie Day, is that you? What's the person's name? From the, uh... From the... <laughs> Pepe Silva. <laughs> fucking Pepe Silva. Alright. Sorry, Chad. I had a piece of loose skin on my thumb. I didn't want to pull it. Anyway. Carol! Carol! Oh my god, what a good show. Do you just have a picture of yourself? Just... Just fucking... What are the gloves for? Anyway. Hey, man. Howdy, Sheriff Mason Mole. Hello. How's your new position here? What? The job. Are you enjoying being the sheriff? Yes. That's great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Okay. You know, you look really familiar. Have I seen you around before? No. Hmm. Strange. You must have a familiar face. No. Oh, you're probably right. My memory plays tricks on me all the time. Yes. So, how'd you meet Lobster Cop? Sk school. You've known each other since school? That's wild. You must be close. Yes. Lobster Cop is pretty hard to please. He must think highly of you to suggest uh, you as the new sheriff. Yes. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? To have a friend who thinks the world of you? Yep. What were you doing before this? Before? Before you became sheriff, did you have a different job? Yes. What was it? I helped. Helped. I helped out. What does that mean? Helped out who? With what? Not important. All right, dude. You're fucking freaking me out. Sorry, I didn't mean to pry. Ha, <laughs> there I go again being nosy. Goodbye. Oh, okay. See ya. Such a chatty Kathy, this guy. Motive. Want to be the only person in town with the hat needs. To be left alone, it seems. Notes. A fellow, a few words. Previous job helped out. Not a lot. Not a lot on this guy. Can I take these gloves? Ooh, these could come in handy. Ha, <laughs> get it? Handy? Gloves? Excuse me. Yes, Sheriff? Those are evidence. Evidence of what? Crime. Oh, I'll leave them here. No. No? Take them. Aren't they evidence? Not yet. Cool! I will take them. Thank you. See you later, I guess. Woo! We're here. Hey, man. Uh, oh. Cute little family pictures you got here. Anyway, what's up, Hannah? Wendy, good afternoon and welcome to Cowboy County General Store. I don't know why I took a breath. My name is Wendy. We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Hi, I'm the detective. Unfortunately, at this time, we don't stock any gear for detective work. Oh, I don't need anything. Oh, um, please feel free to browse our expansive selection. I'm sure you'll find what you need. No, thank you. We have... We have a wide range of general goods for purchase. Yes. Do you need a specific item that is in stock? We process special orders uh, at no extra cost to the customer. I don't really need anything. Special orders have an average two-day turnaround. That's a great turnaround. It is one of our many great policies, such as, we are proud to offer our customers a satisfaction guarantee on all purchases. What is a satisfaction guarantee? We can guarantee that you will be either satisfied or dissatisfied with your purchase. Uh, fair. Like every order at frameratemerch.com. But hopefully the former more than the latter. What happens if I'm dissatisfied? That falls in their satisfaction guarantee. So I can get a refund? The satisfaction guarantee only guarantees a range of satisfactions from dissatisfied to satisfied. If you're feeling toward, you're feeling toward the product doesn't fall within that range, you are entitled to a refund. That clears it up, thanks. Anyway, I'm actually here to ask you some questions about the case. Unfortunately, we don't have case... <laughs> We don't have cases in stock at this time. The mystery, I mean, of the stolen hats. Ceiling is not permitted at Cowboy County General Store. 
It's not permitted anywhere, really. <laughs> to be clear, I'm not here to purchase or steal any items from your store. I'm here on official business to solve the mystery of the stolen hats here in Cowboy County. Right. It would have been a lot easier for me if you said that in the first place. I feel like I just spent so much time explaining the policies and values of my store. A bit embarrassing for me, really. Like, maybe in the future just tell people what you're here for. Yes, absolutely right. I am not good at communicating quickly. I get easily swept up in conversation, sorry. It's fine, I just feel a bit self-conscious. No, no, you did great. I learned a lot about your store policies. I'm glad to hear that. It hasn't been easy taking over the shop. You seem like an old hand at it. Ha! Huh, that's great. I'm not at all. I've only been running the shop for seven months. Oh, cool. Can I ask you some questions? Tumbleweed. So you just started running the shop? How's it all going? I wish I could say I'm nailing it, but in honesty... It, uh, but it honestly doesn't feel like that most of the time. That's no good. The shop has been in my family for generations. I thought in my hands it would be the best it's ever been, but it's just kind of the same. The same is good. At least it's not worse than it was. I suppose you're right. Is there anything that would boost your confidence? Well, there is one thing. What is it? Do you see those portraits on the wall? They're lovely. Every shop owner in my family has had a beautiful portrait created of them, except for me. Mine is just a silly photo. Oh, that's cute. I kind of like... Is this you three times? I like the little hat. That's a nice touch. It's a nice photo. Yeah, sure, but it's not the same. I haven't got the slightest idea how I'm supposed to get someone to create a beautiful portrait. I don't even know who painted those ones. Have you tried painting one yourself? With what time? And besides, art was never my strong suit. Maybe you could paint it for me. Ha, ah, I wish. I'm not much of a painter. Well, if you find anyone that wants to paint me, can you let me know? How are they supposed to know if they want to paint you if they can't see you? Hmm. Here, take this photo of me. Ah, huh, alright. Kind of weird. What's weird? Just carrying around a photo of you on the off chance that I find a painter who could paint you a portrait? I don't think that's weird. Alright, sorry. Can I ask you some questions? I think that's it, right? Yeah. Alright, we got a picture of her. And her little cowboy hat. Wendy. Motive. Steal the hats and sell them back to the town. The perfect crime needs her portrait painted. Notes. Seven months in the biz. Rehearsal. Rehearsed informally at professional and warm. I'm now carrying around a photo of her that no one thinks that's weird. Especially not me. You have any hats in here? Be kind of fucking weird if you did. All right. These carrots. Can I please buy these carrots? Do you have money? No. Then you cannot buy these carrots. Fuck me. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, is this where they hang people? Where's the noose? Maybe not. Also, I like how this guy just has a flag of his own face. Love that for you. Uh, should we go to the saloon first? I mean, there's a bunch of scooters over here. Hold on. Ronda Dynamite. That sounds like a wrestler. Uh, they come from far and wide to face off with the powerful Ronda Dynamite. Ronda Dynamite? That's me. Ready your weapon, frog. It's time for us to do battle. I do not have a weapon, and I'm not super interested in doing battle. Then why are you here to face then why are you here to face me? This is my land, frog. You cannot just waltz in here and expect to take it. Your land? You own the scooter barn? No, but I loiter here every day. Everybody knows this. Where have you been? Do you live under a rock frog? I thought a lily pad might be more suitable. Ha! Oh, he just docks himself. Bold move. I live at 100, ten, 100 Skeleton Street. That's spooky. Slippery Pond. Did you just give me your full address? Yes. You literally just met me. Don't give your full address to strangers. Why not? How else are you going to know where I live? You have a great point. Do I... Oh, here we go. The detective does not have a great point. Do not give your address out to strangers. Unless your house is super cool and you're mega rich. Then tell people where you live because how else are they going to know you live in a mansion? Okay, even then, just show them a photo. Don't give them your address. Thanks for playing. I'll leave you to it. Sorry, Mom. Anyway, I'm not sure why you're trying to fight me. 
Would you like me to leave? Nah, I'm enjoying having some company. So, what did you do? Oh, glasses. What's this? Oh, like if you <laughs> like if you live at 100 Skeleton Street Slippery Pond. I'll like. Good tweet. Good tweet. Uh, so what do you do? Hmm? What do you do as a job? Oh, I'm the detective. I'm here to solve the case of the missing hats. Just in time. When you find the culprit, bring him here. I'll beat him up. What? No. Give him a taste of these fists. Kick him in the nose. Tie their shoes together and trip him up. Tell him they're ugly. Please, no. I'm an outlaw, detective. I hate it when people do the wrong thing. That's the opposite of an outlaw. Huh. You're right. I think this life isn't for me anymore. You think so? To be honest with you, detective, I was meaning to apply for the sheriff position. Oh, it was filled just before I got here. Yeah, I know, by some rando. His name is Mason Mole. I'm sure Lobster Cop wouldn't have given the job to just anyone. He must have been very qualified. Doesn't matter. Or, or, sorry, doesn't mean he's not a rando. I suppose not. What makes you want to be the sheriff? I'm a natural leader. I run the outlaw group with class and style, and I love to help others. Got a problem that needs solving? I'm your girl. And I'm tough. No one's going to mess with me. Wow. You sound like a great fit for the job. I think so too, but it's too late now. Not necessarily. You could always talk to Mason Mole. Show him your expertise. Maybe you could be his co-sheriff. Or deputy. That's a great idea. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? How do you intend to become the sheriff? By force! I will simply beat up Mason Mole. What? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I'm Ronda Dynamite. The rules don't apply to me. What did Mason Mole ever do to you? I don't know, but he's so shifty. That is true. He is shifty. Just don't trust yeah, his face. Dude. I'm with you there. Please don't take the role by force. Have you tried submitting a resume? A resume, you say? Like a list of my skills and experience? Yeah, I think that would be a better option than beating up Sheriff Mason Mole. Less fun, though. Hmm. I don't really have the writing supplies for making a resume. If I had paper and stuff, I could probably manage it. I can get you the writing supplies, just please don't beat up the sheriff. Fine, fine. I was just thinking about it. Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? Fetch quests? Hey man, all three games are fetch quests. What kind of work do you do? Well, detective, I'd love to tell you, but I need to know I can trust you. Oh, I understand. If you're worried about me telling on you, uh, telling on you, I won't tell. My only concern today is the mystery of the missing hats. If you've stolen the hats, I will totally tell on you, though. <laughs> That's reasonable. Well, okay, then. I'm a mouse of many skills. I specialize in forgery and fraud. Wow. Sounds intense. It's mostly a lot of printing stuff out. I can forge all types of things. Important documents, birth certificates, IDs, you name it. Could you forge a certificate that says number one best detective? Why? No reason. I'm just joking. Pretend I didn't say that. Okay. Do you mind if I question you about the case you're working on? Also, bro, I just gave you my full address. Motive. I honestly don't think she would need a motive to steal the hats. Just a hunch, though. Uh, okay. To write a resume and learn some nonviolent conflict resolution skills. Uh, dreams of being the sheriff. Knows my full address. Wants to fight me. No, wait. Wants to fight everybody. Can I go in here? No. Oh, that was a cool jump. Um, all right, let's go to the saloon, and then we'll go all the way up there. Oh, I can ride this in buildings? What the fuck? Oh, it, it takes it off immediately. Okay. How are you playing the piano? Good banger, though. Can I go upstairs? Hey, new shoes. The fuck are you doing up here? All right, we have people downstairs to talk to, but first. Yeah, right in the rooms. I'm so fucking cool. Let's go. All right, anyway, we found the painter. Little panda. Or a big panda, I guess. Pistol? Oh, shit. It's like, real cool cowboy name. Also, shout out to the Dreamcast logo. 
Well, if it isn't the frog of the hour, maybe the frog of one and a half hours, if we're being generous. 45 minutes if you're speedy. Haha. -ha. Well, you get what I mean. It's good to see you, detective. Have we met? Not in person, no. I've sent you several emails asking to illustrate your frog blog. Ooh. Oh, you must be Pistol. That's me. Finest artist in all of Cowboy County and potentially the world. Yes, you mentioned that many times in your emails. It's a shame we haven't been able to work together. Your stories come to me so visually. I would love to illustrate them. I would love that too. Unfortunately, I do not have a million money to pay you. <laughs> Ooh. I know you're supposed to, like, you know, pay artists what they ask for, but, you know, maybe... Maybe not this much. Maybe, maybe charge less. It's actually two million money. Oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, sorry. It's no matter, detective. Simply keep saving up and you'll be able to afford my work one day. I'll do that. Are you working on something at the moment? Yes, my finest piece yet. It's, uh... It is a cactus with a hat on. I think. Oh, there's a map there. I didn't even notice. Uh, well, you see, it's clearly a... Who am I kidding, detective? I've lost my artistic touch. Oh, I'm sure it's just a bit of creative block. Creative block? No! I clicked on a banner on cyberspace. It took me to a strange website. It's a frame rate merch .com. What'd the banner say? Click here for an epic video of a worm who is buff. You were right to click it. When it loaded, it was just a scary picture of a witch. It made a loud cackling noise, and the screen just said, You just got a curse on you from this website! Ever since then, I've lost my artistic talents. That's terrible. When did that happen? Earlier today. I don't mean to doubt you, but... Are you sure it wasn't just a prank? A prank? I don't think so. That witch was really scary, and I'm normally very brave. Did the website have any specifics about the curse? No. Well, how do you know the curse is on your artistic talents? It's been three hours and I haven't found my latest muse. A muse? Great band. You know, a subject that piques my interest. Every day I find one and today I haven't seen anything that inspires me. Hmm, can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. I might have found your muse. Can you tell me more about the curse from the website you visited? I don't know what more there is to say. I wanted to see a video of a buff worm and I was tricked, fooled. Cyberspace can be really troubling, can be a really troubling place. Nobody warned me. On the bright side, I clicked on a banner that said I was the 1,000th visitor and I won 100,000 money. What? Really? Yeah. You have the money? They just asked for my bank information. I gave it to them. You did what? Relax. How else was I going to get the prize money? That seems really dangerous. Okay, well, I just gave my full address to a stranger, so I really can't. We're both real fucking stupid. You're just jealous because I won 100,000 money. It's already there in my bank account. Really? You checked? Yes. I bought this new outfit with my winnings. Wow, I'm sorry for downing you. It's fine. I guess I'll always click on those banners from now on. Sounds like a plan. Hmm, can I ask you some other questions? Go ahead. You mentioned eating a muse. I'm cursed to never have one. Well, it's only been a few hours. One might show up. I doubt it. I think this is the end of my painting career. Don't give up now. What if I can help you find a muse? You want to help me? I would love to. Let me think. Maybe you could draw me. I have no interest in drawing you. Fucking ouch. Instant denial. Didn't I'm even think about bust. it. Fuck. But that is understandable. Hmm. If you can find me a photograph of something compelling to draw, I would be very grateful. But I think it might be too much of a challenge. Nothing is too much of a challenge for me. What about putting on a hat? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. Your head is a weird shape. I know this. I'll get to work finding a photograph for you to draw. Thank you, detective. I wish you the best of luck. Can I ask you some questions? I found a photograph for you to paint. Oh, can I see? Here you go. Wow, this is beautiful. Is this Wendy from the store? Sure is. It would be my absolute pleasure to paint this. I did it. What? I lifted the witch's curse. I mean, I guess. Seems like it was probably a prank. Oh, I thought you said it was scary. I don't think I said that. I'm really brave. Doesn't seem like something I'd say. Right. I must have been mistaken. It's okay. We all make mistakes. Well, not me so much. So will this work for your new muse? Absolutely. Stay right here. I'm going to paint it immediately. Oh, that's so pretty. And voila. Oh, it's beautiful. 
Thank you, I'm so proud of it. What are you gonna do with it now? Oh, this is just a warm-up for me. You can keep the portrait if you like. Really? Yeah, or throw it out, I don't mind. I'm just happy I got my talent back. The talent was inside you all along. No, it wasn't. Okay. Good talk. Pistol. Motive. Maybe hats are hard to paint? Needs. Amuse. Did that already. Yep. Two million money is small price to pay for art. Curse, allegedly. Always giving your bank information always give your bank information to anyone who asks for it. Hey man, the dev didn't show up, so I think you're good. Chat, I think you guys are in the clear. Oh great, I can use this to orient myself if I get lost in this needlessly large town. You're sending me it now? Oh, perfect, thanks. All right, uh, let's go give this to Wendy first. I'm here! Crash into the back of the wall, everything shatters. So you're not gonna believe this. What is it? I managed to get you a portrait. Wait, seriously? Yep. Pistol the painter saw your photo and he thought you were the perfect muse. He said that? About me? Sure did. Can I see the painting? Sure. I'll hang it up for you. <clears throat> wow, it's great! Pistol is so talented. How much do I owe him? No charge. He was just glad to be free of the witch's cyberspace curse. I'm sorry, what? It's a whole thing. Don't worry about it. The painting isn't cursed, is it? I don't think so. Well, good. Thanks so much for getting this portrait for me, detective. It was no problem at all. What can I give you for the trouble? Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Take this ladder. Ooh, a whole ladder. That seems quite big. You'll barely notice you're holding it, I promise. If you say so. Thanks. Oh, we got the ladder. All we need now is the table and the chair, and we have ourselves a wrestling match. Hey, any of these have a ghost in them? Afternoon, detective. What can I get for you? Oh, uh, nothing for me, thanks. I'm here on official business. Ah, hear about the hats? I must look like uh, a heck of a suspect. Why is that? I'm the only resident of Cowboy County without a hat. I mean, until now. That's pretty suspicious of me. I could have stolen them all out of jealousy. And cooked them up in my stew? Haha! -ha! Did you steal the hats and cook them up in your stew? You bet! Oh! Everyone, come get your hat stew! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm just pulling your leg, detective. I'm a jokester. They call me Bantering Bonnie around here. That's a nice nickname. Psst. I'm literally joking! I keep falling for this, huh? They just call me Bonnie. I made that up. Oh, ha uh, XD. Now you're getting it. I'm full of jokes. Yeah, I get it now. Uh, anyway, you mentioned that you don't wear a hat. Why not? My head is a weird shape. Sister. Ah. Haha, -ha! I'm literally joking. Ah, I fell for it again. My head is completely normal. Oh, ha uh, Mine too. I just don't like the way hats look with my dress. Plus, I'm inside most of the time, so why bother? It's not a suspicious thing. LOL. Okay. LOL. Hey, detective! Yeah! I know a lot about Cowboy County! I know it all! Why are we yelling? It's a joke! LOL! Is it okay if I talk normally? Yes, but it was just a joke! Okay. Anyway, as I was saying, my job here isn't just to run the saloon, I'm also a keen historian for Cowboy County. Despite my hilarious nature, I talk- I take the role very seriously. For example, did you know that the graveyard up on the hill is grave is gravely haunted? Haha, <laughs> gravely. Sorry? It's gravely haunted. Graveyard. Yeah, that's what I said. I have tons of stories and photographs from the haunted hill. You can check them out if you want. I sure will, thanks. LOL. I just got the gravely thing. Haha! <laughs> Haha. 
Can I ask you some questions about this case? Do you know how much, or do you know much about the photos here at the saloon? Uh, legend has it they're haunted. I don't know if I believe it, but you're welcome to take a look at them. And I'll tell you what I know. Sure, thanks. Hat stew. You didn't actually make hat stew, did you? Of course not. Gross. I'm not making... I am making stew, though. It's the only way I can think of uh, to get the regular customers back. Where do they go? Oh, they're around, but I think they got a bit scared off. Ah, do you have bandits in the saloon? LOL, I wish. It's worse. Artists. <laughs> Artists. Creative types. That doesn't sound scary at all. No, but... No. You're right. It just changes the vibe. They hang around all day creating things and finding themselves. I miss the root and toot and cowboy boot and times we used to have. You're not a fan of art? I like the cartoon section of the newspaper, if that counts. Sure. You just want everyone to party a bit more, right? Right. Get them to stop taking themselves so seriously. So your solution is stew? Hat stew! I'm joking! Sorry, I'm still learning about jokes. It's just a normal stew, but I'm famous for it around here. Lure them here with the stew, keep them here with the party atmosphere. Sounds like a great plan. I don't have enough ingredients, though. Say, could you buy me some carrots? I'll give you the cash. Sure. All right, guess we're going back to Wendy. Oh, and around these parts, there's really delicious... Oh, cactus flowers. Okay, yep, I found some of those. I'll give you as much stew as you want in return. Sounds like a good deal. All right. So we need to uh, buy the carrots and get the flowers. The skeletons? It's from 100 skeletons. Oh shit, you mean the street I live on? No comment. Thank you for the 6666, 100 skeletons. Appreciate you. Motive, a practical joke perhaps? Needs carrots and cactus flowers for her stew. Notes. She's joking. Allegedly doesn't wear hats, but appears to be wearing a hat of some sort. Hates creativity, keen cowboy county historian. Dude, LOL. All right, we still need to talk to the guy up top. Let's uh, get these flowers, though. Oh, I have the, that's what the gloves are for. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, I know there's one up in this little corner here. I forgot where the other ones were. Or maybe there's more than four. There's one right here. Yeah, one case three. The final case in this uh, complete trilogy set thing that just came out. Oops, wrong button. Oh! Almost did a flip. That would have been sick. This is me and Tina as Starfish, by the way. I'm trying to do tricks. Oh, isn't there one up here? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Got my four. Should be enough for the flowers. <laughs> I am on X Games mode, you're right. That's the wrong spot. Fuck. Can I please buy these carrots? You have money? I sure do. Plenty of it. Okay, no need to brag. <laughs> Take as many as you need. Thanks. Guys, I don't mean to brag, but I can afford carrots on my Twitch salary, so, uh... You guys jealous? You mad? You wish you were, you wish you were rich, rich as me? I just had a stroke. Help me. Call an ambulance. I'm dying. Can I ask you some questions about the case? AK... Oh, fuck. All right, here we go. Hey, I managed to procure some carrots for your stew. You're the best, detective. How'd you even manage that? I simply went next door and bought some. That's so cool. I'll add them to the stew now. Can I ask you some questions? I also have the flowers. I've uh, just been flower picking. Great. Here's what I've collected so far. I'll add them to the stew. I really wish you told me that the cactus flowers were so hard to get. I nearly pricked myself. Aha, uh -huh, did you? That's so funny. It's not funny at all. It's hilarious. It is not hilarious. That would have hurt. 
Yeah, I would've. Good thing I managed to find some gloves. Ew, like secondhand gloves? First and second hand. <laughs> First and second hand, yep. Well, thanks for getting them. No problem. Hey, would you look at that? What? You got all the ingredients. I mean, it's a pretty simple task. I'm so proud of you. What's wrong? Feels a little condescending. What's condescending about being proud of you? All I did was pick some flowers and go to the store. That's more than I did. Uh, I suppose. Just give me a sec, I'll finish up the stew and give you some. Great, thanks. I reckon I could give this to Lobster Cop. Do whatever you want. Oh, that's right, I forgot he wanted food. Or a meal. Alright, let's go talk to the guy upstairs. Yeah, dude. Lily, thank you for the Prime sub for two months. Appreciate it. Hey, man. I sit and ponder, detective. Is this theft a bad thing? Perhaps. But who are we to determine good and bad? A stolen hat is a message. Do not let yourself be shielded. The light of the sun holds more answers than we think. Answers to what? Questions? What questions? Why is it so bright out here? How do I charge this solar-powered bobblehead? And more, I'm certain of it. We spend so much time focused on how to find the missing hats and no time considering why we had them in the first place. I would assume for sun protection. Protection? From the sun? What harm does the sun pose to us? The sun could be bad for your skin. If I stay in the sun too long, my skin gets all crispy. I turn into a crispy fried snack. Is being crispy wrong, detective? It's wrong for me? Who are we determine wrong and right? Well, I'm the frog detective. And I'm just a lonely poet trying to make sense of the world. It's nice to meet you. And you. You sure think a lot about things, huh? I try, but I think I get it wrong a lot of the time. Who are we to determine wrong and right? Ha. Ha ha. If you don't mind me saying, you don't look too much like a cowboy. Oh, I'm no cowboy. I'm Dusty. I'm an outlaw slash poet. I'm trying to compose the perfect cowboy poem. It's taken forever. I'm no good at this. But you have so much to say. Yes, but when I write it down, it gets so muddled. Nothing comes out right. I'm sure it sounds great. It doesn't. I'm ashamed to even show anyone. You can show me. I won't judge. Though I did judge a dance competition. Hmm. Okay. Ahem. <clears throat> A cowboy's life is so much fun, sitting round on your bum. Ride a scooter, sing a tune, say a yeehaw in the afternoon. The sun is bright, their smiles shine brighter when waving at this lonely rider. I give a nod and smile back too, yet I wish I could be someone new. An outlaw's life is not for me, I want to ride and be carefree. Instead I sit and write stuff down, not fitting in with this cowboy town. That's my poem. It's beautiful. I would say that's the perfect cowboy poem. Thanks, but I think I want to write a new one. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Go ahead. That was a banger. Do you need help workshopping a perfect cowboy poem? I would love that. Nobody here really gets me, you know? Totally. I'll show you what I have so far and maybe you can help me finish it. Sure. Uh, I saw a cowboy eat a snack. A bowl of cereal. Uh... Ooh, near the tracks? Nice! I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal, near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off... Uh... Ooh... To get some more! He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. But just ahead, to his shock... He saw Lobster Cop and his cock! That is not an option. I'm out of ideas. Uh, that one's on you. Just, just, just kind of spitballing. Not an option. Uh, stood a newly built office block. There was Nessie from the lock. He saw a goblin on a rock. Um, okay, sure. But just ahead to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. 
He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover... A tumbleweed in its place, nothing there, just empty space. The thing had gone without a trace. The thing had gone without a trace. Ooh, plot twist, okay. He wallowed over, concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went. To tell his friend Ned. No, back to bed. Back to bed. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went back to bed. Aha! It's perfect. The perfect poem. I can't wait to recite this in front of a crowd. I still think you should use the lobster cop line I gave you, but, you know, I understand if you don't want to. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, Detective. It wasn't a problem at all. I had lots of fun. I feel like I understand the cowboy life a bit better now. Maybe one day I'll feel confident enough to become one myself. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Hey, since I've written the perfect poem, I don't need my writing supplies anymore. Really? You don't want to write any more poems? No, no, I do. But every time I start a new project, I like to use new tools. So I don't take the energy of the old poem with me. Sounds expensive. Yeah. Anyway, take them. Awesome. <laughs> Any Neds in chat? Last Weeb Ride, thank you for the 32. Motive. Wanted to absorb cowboy powers through cowboy hat osmosis. Just wanted just someone to talk to, I think. Poet, icon, legend, friend, longs to live the cowboy life. Not great at budgeting. Ever played Night in the Woods? No. Oh, wait, who needed this shit again? It was... <laughs> Fucking Ned. Oh, did you cheat us for the resume? Do you mind if I question you about the case I'm working on? I have some writing supplies right here. Oh, how'd you get those so quickly? I helped to compose a beautiful poem. Sounds boring. But thanks for getting me those writing supplies. I appreciate it. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. I have a bunch of skills. I wish I had a bunch of skills. We can't all be Ronda Dynamite. Do you mind if I question you about the case? All right. All right, so she's all set. Let's go talk to uh, the man up in the hills. Oh, there's more than four. All oh, those flowers. Okay. Wrong button again. Hey, man. Hi, Sherman. Wow, look at you. Huh? Your jumper, your vacant smile, those piercing eyes. Are you a model? I certainly am not. Maybe it's time to start modeling. Maybe. Or maybe it's time to solve a mystery. Ah, yeah. Actually, I don't know what you mean. I'm a detective. Ah. Is there a problem? I don't want any trouble. I'm an outlaw. You see, my name is Sherman. Authority and I don't always see eye to eye. I have no authority at all. You have the authority to steal my heart. <laughs> what? Because of your good looks? It's just a little joke. Not about your looks. You look great. It was like, you could, like, steal my heart because you're so dashing. Ha, ah, you're too kind. Anyway, how can I help you, detective? Uh, I'm here about the missing hats. The missing hearts? You've stolen them! Sorry, just joking. Maybe not the time for my killer sense of humor. The hats, right. Mine's was stolen. Do you have any leads? Who done it? That's what I'm here to figure out. Do you see anything suspicious over the last couple of days? Uh, I looked in the mirror. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm suspicious looking because I'm an outlaw. Yeah, I got it. Hmm. Well, honestly, I'm a bit confused about how this new sheriff came into the picture. My fellow outlaw, Rhonda Dynamite, was working up the courage to ask to be the new sheriff. Clearly, she didn't get the courage in time because this new guy, Mason Mole, wandered in like he owns the place. You don't like him? Oh, don't get me wrong. He's okay. I just don't know why he wants to be the sheriff. Cowboy County has always been a lawless land. That's the way we like it. Everybody respects and understands each other here, so I thought it'd be better if the sheriff was one of us. Not saying he'll do a bad job or anything, but I just hope he keeps the, co the county as kind as it ever was. Have you spoken to him much? He's barely said two words the whole time he's been here. I assume he's shy, so I'll give him time to settle in. Yeah, talking to him is awful. He did give me the gloves, though. But I don't know. It can be strange when someone new comes into your community. I really want to be as welcoming as possible, but I have a few concerns. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case?
Why are you so suspicious of Mason Mole? It's not like me to be suspicious, really. You know me. I do not. Not yet. Sherman winks. Do you want to, like, suck my frog penis? What is your problem? Anyway, I just don't really understand his motives. Why is he here? I'm not sure. Obviously, I want to trust Lobster Cop's judgment, but this new guy is so quiet and shady. Do you even know what job he did before this? I have no idea. Do you know? Nope. Figures. He's kind of saucy, this guy. Any reason you're hanging out by the mines? Well, yeah. I heard there's gold in there. Wow. I really like gold. I don't mean to sound insensitive, but I want to ask. Is it a thing for sloths to like gold? Why do you ask? My friend Martin is a sloth and also loves gold. He made a crown out of it. Sounds heavy. Yeah. Well, I haven't really thought about it before, but yes, I think sloths do like gold. But then again, who doesn't? I find it doesn't suit my complexion. I think anything would suit your complexion. But anyway, I've been trying to get into the mine, but it's all blocked up. Dang, have you tried exploding it with dynamite? What? No, that sounds really dangerous. I was thinking more along the lines of a pickaxe. Oh, yeah, that'd probably be better. Do you have one? I can trade you for uh, a shovel. I'll think about it. All right. Why is he so smooth with it? I know, right? He's a heart slayer. Uh, champagne. Thank you for the 35 months. I don't know. I found it difficult to pay attention. Those eyes. A pickaxe to break into the mine. Thank you for the store order, by the way. Sherman, you make me blush. So funny, so cool. No, I refuse to be charmed. This is a suspect. All right, I think it's just Lobster Cop right now. Right? There's no one else over here. There was the well. Uh, I think it's just the well over here, so... Ah, I almost made it. Okay, yeah, let's go to the... Let's go to our frenemy. Oh, they're still her. She's still, like, mad at me. Oh, and I guess we need a key. So, are you finished? Huh? Do you find all the things I asked for? Oh. Uh. Wait. What, we, what were they again? We got a map. Maybe the shovel's a tool? We don't have the key. And we have the meal. Okay. I did not. All right. Hey, maybe she'll, like, want to talk to me. Or I need to find a pickaxe somewhere. We can look after this. Excuse me, Susie Rabbit? Hello? What? It's me, the detective. Yeah, I know. They should call you the Flake. Why? Because you always flake out on your promises. I'm gonna have to break it on my own now. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, I didn't ask. Oh, fuck it. The fair? Why are you breaking in anyway? Bit nosy for someone who doesn't want to help. Being nosy is my job. Fine. I don't have any ID. Uh, so I can't get into my vault. Oh. So you only want to steal things that belong to you. Yeah. Surely there's another way of getting them. So now you want to help. Typical. I just mean, breaking in sounds dangerous. You can get hurt. I heard all these banks are booby-trapped. Why? So people don't break in. What? What's wrong with breaking in? Well, the point of a bank is to keep valuables safe. If people can break in, it kind of defeats the purpose of a bank. I'm starting to get it. Ah, uh, that's so annoying. I have a piece of evidence that is vital to the missing hats case. Wait, what? I could really use that. Ah, so you'll help me. Hmm. I really shouldn't. What kind of evidence? It's a map. I think it might lead to where the hats are hidden. I found it this morning. Oh, maybe this is the map we need, not the map of the town. Uh, I found it this morning right after the hats were stolen. It had big letters on top that said crime map. Eat after reading. I didn't eat it, obviously. That's good to hear. Maybe there's another way to get into your vault. Mind if I ask you some questions? So let's brainstorm ideas to get into the vault. Uh, ooh, sure. What about we kick the bank teller? Absolutely not. I'm joking, obviously. Were you? No, I was not. Okay, new idea. We'll find your ID. I'm gonna be honest with you, detective. What is it? I'm pretty sure my ID is in the bank vault. Oh, that is a conundrum. Yeah. But there's a silver lining. We live in a town filled with outlaws. 
I don't live here. <laughs> Surely one of the outlaws will know how to make a fake ID. Okay, that's, that's, uh, what's his name? Craig? Is that against the rules? What rules? The bank rules? It's my vault. What are they going to do? Ban me from my own possessions? I suppose not. Great, so it's settled. You get me a fake ID. What? No! Suit yourself. Theoretically, if I were to help... Yes, thank you, detective. I'll wait right, right here. Okay, mind if I ask you some questions? The map. About that vital piece of evidence, the map. What about it? What can you tell me about it? Do you remember what it had on it? It was a map of the graveyard, I think. Oh, that's helpful. Uh, barely helpful. The graveyard is, a, is massive. You'd be looking forever without some guy to tell you where to go. Besides, it's super haunted up there. I wouldn't want to spend too long looking around. It's haunted. That's what the rumors say. Do you remember anything else about the map? Nah, not really. Listen, if you can help me get to the vault, into my vault, it's all yours. That's not like a good deal. I'll do my best. Okay. How many people have died in this one horse town? Oh my god, that's a nice zoom in. Maybe she misplaced the hats in the vault. I don't know. Fake ID. Yikes! Short stature, short of temper, ethical criminal, not a big believer in rules. Tori, thank you for the 30 months, and Captain Hauser, thank you for the gifted sub, dude. Can I ask you some questions? Oh, he needs the fucking ghost proof, right? That's right, okay. All right, it was in the saloon, right? Okay, P please. Is this a ghost? Ha, huh, I doubt it. That's a photo of a visitor from about a year ago. They came and changed all the colors to in Cowboy County. It, <laughs> it was really weird and messy. Fun though. And they're still alive? I sure hope so, thanks. Ooh, I like this one. I hope it's not haunted. Bad luck, detective. This is the most haunted photo of all. Ah, why? Legend has it this rabbit was a real mean guy. He would put banana peels out for people to trip on. Give people wedgies, you name it. Wow, that's horrible. Yeah. Wait. Sorry, I'm thinking of someone else. How embarrassing. No, yeah, this guy was the sheriff about 80 years ago. A great sheriff loved by all. So not haunted. No, sorry. All good. Okay. It's a huge mistake. How about this lad? <clears throat> this one is super spooky. Surely it has to be a ghost photo. That's old Snappy Fresh. He was one of the original gold miners here in town about a hundred years ago. Wow. It's old and creepy. It totally fits the description I'm looking for. Yeah, well, you're out of luck. Oh? Old Snappy Fresh is still alive. How could it be a ghost? He's still alive? How old is he? It's impolite to ask an old person's age. Yeah, chat! You know my age, though. You don't even need to fucking ask. I'm old. That's all you need to know. All right. I'm 30, what, 37? Whatever the fuck that person said. Ooh, 3,000 bits. Captain Hauser, thank you. If you'd like to put that toward the bit war, let glasses know. He's 130 years old. How do you know? I asked. Coincidentally, that's how I learned it was rude to ask someone's age. Okay, thanks. Almost as old as me. Is this a ghost? Who, Mark? Nah, I wish Mark was a go- Whoa. What? That didn't come out right. LOL. That's my ex-husband. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. Why'd you get divorced? Seems like a pretty personal question. My bad. Bah, I'm just kidding. He's not really my ex-husband. I actually don't know who that is, but I call him Mark. I think that photo's over 50 years old. Take my word for it, though. That's not a haunted photo. It has nice energy. Okay. You are the worst. This one is standing in front of the graveyard. That's totally haunted behavior. Or maybe she's mourning. Do you ever think of that? Then why is she smiling? Yeah, good point. Actually, I know who that is. That's Betsy, one of the first shop owners here in Cowboy County. She sold all those gravestones to residents of the town. I suspect that's why she has such a big smile on her face. The smile of a clever businesswoman. Not haunted. Not haunted. Okay, thanks. Hmm. Looks like a smiley face on her nose.
<laughs> Too spooky, dude. Too spooky. Wait, was this one here before? I don't remember. It has such a strange energy to it. Yeah, I suddenly feel really chilly when I look at it. He's handsome, yet cold. Like he's seen too much. A man who has lived a thousand lives. There's a kindness to him, but also a great mystery. Bonnie? Yes, detective? I think this is a haunted photo. I think you might well be right. May I take it? Please do. I'd be glad to get rid of it. Hey, we got a haunted photo. Brad Leader, thank you for the bits. For Quaxley. And Mecca, thank you for the three months. This picture is Ray when he's standing during the stream. Yeah. That's going to be me soon when I shave my head. Pop. Oh, a wall ride? Let's go. Yeah, that's actually Ghost Ray. There you go. Chrome Dome? No, I never finished. Uh, I never got 100% in Crash Bandicoot 4. I stopped because I got frustrated. I can't shave my head again. Tina, if my hairline keeps going backwards, I won't have a choice. Can I ask you some questions? So I took a look at all the photos in the saloon. I think this one is definitely a ghost. Just grow more hair, forehead. Oh, shit. Fuck. Why did I think of that? Uh, oh, really? How do you know? Bonnie helped me out by telling me the stories of all the photos. Uh, the rest of the photos seem pretty normal, but this one, this one is something else. I can just tell the energy from this photo is very spooky and suspicious. I should have known right away, but I suppose I can only be so smart. I suppose that's true. Is it okay if I take the photocopy of this? That's fine. Hopefully this is enough proof for the Ghost Spotters League to finally let me in. If they don't, it's their loss. Thanks. Hey, can I give you some... Uh, what do you have? You have the pickaxe? Dude, you have everything, Craig. Why? Sorry? Why do you have a pickaxe? What's it to you? can I just carry around a pickaxe? Is there something... I mean, I guess I'm carrying a ladder with me. Is there something wrong with that? No, I guess not. But usually when people give stuff to me, they have some reason for having it in the first place. Do people give stuff to you often? Yeah, pretty often. Okay. Well, I don't really have an explanation for the pickaxe thing. Sorry. That's okay, I guess. Just one more mystery that will haunt me for the rest of my days. That seems really intense. It's just a pickaxe. For you, maybe. Whatever. Thanks for the pickaxe. Have I gone gray yet? Not yet. At least, not that I've seen. Maybe like one or two here or there, but not like, you know, in patches. All right, cool. All right, let's go back to uh, my future uh, husband. And then we'll come back and get the, or talk to him about forging in game. Please. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about the case? Doing a tradesy. You mentioned you want a pickaxe, right? Sure did. I have one here if you'd be willing to trade it for the shovel. Ooh, I'd love that. Thanks. I could also trade it for a nice dinner. Just you and I. Huh. I'll take the shovel for now. Offer's open. <laughs> Maybe after I've solved the case. Okay. Sherman, please, dude. He is so smooth. He's a smooth operator. Alright, I assume the pickaxe is the tool we need. Let's go, uh, let's go forge. I can't believe this game has forge and Halo Infinite doesn't have it yet. Truly a bad game. Oh, can I not... Did he not do forgery? Am I making that up? Oh, did... I, Rhonda did, right? It was Rhonda. I think I got the wrong person. Pop. 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 I hate this guy. It freaks me out. I think it is Rhonda. Rhonda! There we go. Yeah. You mentioned you could forge identifications, right? 
I sure can. I was wondering if you could help me out. Sure, anything for my friend, the detective. Amazing! I need to get a fake ID made for Susie. Can you help? Can do. Did you want me to know what it's for? Nope, I'm not interested in other people's business. Hell yeah, Rhonda. Same. I'll get that ready for you in a jiffy. Take this ID, pay me, and that's it. You can leave. All right, all done. Anything else I can help you with? I think I'm good for now. Thanks so much. No worries, partner. We got a fake ID. I could finally go behind the curtains in video stores and see what cool movies they have back there. Okay, so before I give you this, just know that this makes me very uncomfortable. But I know how important it is for me to solve this case and press Lobster Cop. So here's your fake ID. Yes! This rules. It looks so realistic. I don't think it looks realistic at all, but it should be enough to get you in. Okay, I'll be right back. It worked! Thanks, Detective. I'll be sure to tell everyone I know about how you helped me. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. You don't need to tell anyone. Hear ye, hear ye, the detective helped me break into a bank. No, no, they should call you the burglar. I do not want to be called that. Fine, fine, here, I got the map for you. Jesus. And I got my real ID out, so I won't be breaking the rules anymore. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks for the map, I think it'll be a big help. <laughs> the crime map. So the only thing I think I could use the uh, ladder for is maybe the well. Before we did the whole ID thing, I thought we would use the ladder to climb on top of the bank or some shit, but I assume the ladder's for the well. And maybe the key's in there. But maybe I'm fucking wrong. Hey, this ladder's perfect. Never mind. I'm the smartest man on Twitch. Uh, perfect for climbing down this well. Lucky me. Pop a wheelie? I fucking wish. What the fuck would be on a roof? I could be a hole in the roof. People are so careless nowadays. Ever heard of a keychain? I'll take this with me. Pagan, thank you for the 56. Alright. We got everything. The map, the key, the meal, and the tool. And most importantly, the scooter. Not only is the ladder perfect for climbing down, it can also use it for climbing up. Look at me. Okay, detective, that is how a ladder works. Okay, anyway. Did I talk to this guy? Can you talk to this guy? No, it's just a snake chilling out. Oh, do you mean like behind the... Like at the piano and stuff? I don't think you can talk to them. I think they're just there for, you know, to hang out. They're, they're fucking Giga Chads. I'm just a beta bitch. They don't want to talk to me. Are you finished, huh? Did you find all the things I asked for? I think so. Ah, great initiative. Let's take a look. A map of the crime scene. That looks like a map of the graveyard. Well, that could be it, but we'll have to wait and see. Tool capable of aiding criminal activity. A shovel. I think you'd be right, detective. A key that will lead us to a clue or open the gate. Sure looks like a key to me. Any idea where it could lead? A meal for the number one best detective. Ah, thank you very much. As number one best detective, this dude is clearly for me. Now, oh, would you look at that? The rookie came through. Nice work, detective. Thank you, lobster cop. You go ahead and check out the crime scene. I'll be right behind. I just have some quick business to attend to. I can do that. I'll take that meal now, though. It's all yours. Enjoy. Lobster cop, are you going to be fucking sus? Also, apparently the hats are behind the... Whatever's this building. Well, here goes nothing. Can I dig up random graves? Well, this one's green. I guess that one's new. No, I can't dig up random graves. All right. Hmm. 
Looks like a hidden Mickey. According to the map, this is where the hats are hidden. An odd crime, if you ask me. I wish I could figure out the motive of this crime. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know. I'll just dig these up and hope Lobster Cop has more information. Great! I found the hats! I'm sure everyone will be so relieved to have them back. I'll take them back to town. It sure is nice to have a simple resolution to this mystery. It was that easy. I'm sure nothing else will happen. I'm sure that uh, camera noise we heard was just a weird glitch and nothing else. I sure hope my best buddy Lobster Cop doesn't cuck me. Oh, why'd the music stop? Here comes the detective now, just in time for the town meeting to begin. The first order of business is poem. Oh, great. Please read a poem. Hello, I would like to read you my poem. This is my first time performing a poem, and I am nervous. Please do not laugh. I saw a cowboy eat a snack, a bowl of cereal, near the tracks. He finished quickly, smart and sure, then headed off to get some more. But just ahead, to his shock, he saw a goblin on a rock. Lobster cop, I tried to get you in this one, he wasn't going for it. He waddled over, concentrated face, only to discover the thing had gone without a trace. The cowboy smiled and shook his head, and off he went back to bed. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> Erupts in applause. Oh, look at me. I'm like convulsing. Lobster cops hitting Mike Wazowski. Good. Thank you for the poem. Next order of business. Crime solved. I am pleased to announce I have recovered. I'll stop you right there, detective. I am pleased to announce I have found the culprit in the case of the missing hats. I worked hard to come to this conclusion, so I trust uh, I will have your full attention as I go through the facts. Please pay attention. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking tumbleweed. Back up, dude. Whoa, hey, hey. Jesus. We're in the middle of something here. Earlier today, I had the pleasure of appointing Mason Mole the title of sheriff. Everybody likes this. Yes, this is a universally loved decision. Shortly after, the detective arrived. That's me. Quiet, please, detective. As soon as the detective arrived, I'm sure you all noticed your hats go missing. Wait. It is with great sadness that I have to tell you this. The culprit of this crime, the hat-stealing monster of Cowboy County, is none other than the second best investigator, Frog Detective. What the fuck? Wait, what? I have been presented a piece of evidence by our very own Mason Mole that ties the detective to the crime. What evidence? This! Wait, why did you have my eyebrows? Wait, what the fuck? No, this is a mistake! I was digging up the hats because I found their location! Then why do you look so mischievous? I don't! Someone has drawn eyebrows on me! I don't even have eyebrows! You have to admit, detective, you have a big motive. A motive? What? You've come into a town that prides itself on hats. It's well known fact that you cannot wear hats. Weird head shape. Yes, thank you, Sheriff Mason Mole. Because of your weird head shape. But I don't mind if other people wear hats. It seems to me you do, detective. Why else would you steal the hats and hide them where no one else would ever find them? But I didn't, I swear. Tell it to the judge. What judge? Hmm. That's a good point. We haven't seen a crime like this in our society before. We'll have to invent the punishment. I have an idea. What is it? Bad room. What? That's less of an idea, more of an ominous concept. I will elaborate. We put Frog Detective in the bad room. For punishment of crime. No! An excellent if shocking idea, Sheriff Mason Mole. We will construct the bad room at once. I already made it. It is in my office. Oh, well in that case... Detective, I sent you to one year of living in the bad room. This is the worst day of my life. 
Am I going to jail? Oh, okay. Well, I get an achievement for it, at least. Oh, no, not the bad room. Is that a laptop? Wait. In the bad room, there's a laptop? Where'd all the color go? The lock's not even hooked on to anything. Oh, I'm so sad. Just want to go home to That's how it ends? Glasses, you made me play the saddest fucking game ever made. Bro, what is your problem? You Canadian bitch. I've been in here for far too long. So here I go. What the fuck is your problem? Just singing. Frog detective as the burglar. Yo, this is propaganda. It's like a sad song. It's like sad dance. Knew I'd never be number one. Don't remember what I've done. Can anyone hear me? Does anyone the supporting cast believe that life was fair? Are we the baddies? Special I thanks to Lobster Cop and Mason Mole. Special apologies to Kylie Minogue. Why Kylie Minogue? Uh, optimists? <laughs> we don't have uh, anyone else to credit, and there's still time left to the song. The following credits are from Degrassi, The Next Generation, Season 6, Episode 11. What the fuck is happening? I guess taking a year to make this game, maybe you lost your fucking mind. Maybe you just went off the Took deep the end. And learning how to be the best. So what comes now? Can't remember not doing right. But while I'm here, maybe. <laughs> oh no! This is the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life! Just wanna go home to sleep. Dude, I. I might need to update my uh, brown band emote when we go back to normal emotes and just have it be the frog in there. <laughs> Not me, I broke out. The frog. It can be YouTube frogs. I'm not gonna make a YouTube frog emote with them behind bars. But maybe the good YouTube frog emote can be this frog. <coughs> Fuck, I wish I waited a year to play this. Framerate.merch.com. Framerate. Fuck. Close. Oh, is he gonna blog? <laughs> okay. To my loyal frog blog readers, it's hour number one of my time in the bad room. I know that I am innocent. Unfortunately, because the number one best detective put me here, nobody will believe me. That's what you get for being second best. I'm not sure anybody reads my frog blog anymore because of my alleged crimes, but if you are reading, thank you. I hope to prove my innocence in the case uh, of the hat theft and return to being as good of a detective as I can be. I'm not sure why Sheriff Mason Mole has framed me, but my hope is that it's all just one big misunderstanding 
as is the case with most of the mysteries I am involved in. It would really hurt my feelings to know that he did this on purpose. I am grateful that Lobster Cop has given me access to a computer so I can continue to write my blog posts. Though I must say, I'm not sure if I'll have much to write about here. Thank you for reading. Frog Detective. X. Is that hug or kiss? Which one is X? Oh, Mystery Monkey! My biggest fan! Uh, oh, wait. Well, yeah, 49, I guess, so if he's online. This is terrible. I can't believe this. They're together! Uh, are working together. I don't are they I don't know if they're boinking. Anyway, what's going on? I'm reading the latest frog blog blog post. I was so excited to see how the detective solved the mystery in Cowboy County. But I can't believe it. The detective has been framed for a crime. Crime is real? Let's not jump to any conclusions here. <laughs> of course, sorry. What do we do, Mo? Um we get back to our science work. I can't possibly concentrate on our scientific discoveries in these conditions. Mo, I have to help the detective. How are you going to do that? I'll have to solve the mystery myself. Oh, shit. What the fuck is happening? Is it going to be monkey detective now? Oh, he's got a hat. Is this like a Sailor Moon transformation? Look after the lab, Mo. I'm not coming back until I've proven the detective's innocence. Wow, Mystery Monkey is so cool. Smile. What a twist. A little later. Housekeeping. Can I help you? Hi, Supervisor. My name is Mystery Monkey. We talked on the phone a while back about the mystery of the haunted island. Of course. How could I forget? It's good to see you. Likewise. I realize this is highly unusual, but I'm here about one of your detectives. Ah, is it Lobster Cop? No. Investigator Eel? No. Inspector Iguana, the incredibly, the incredible Sandy Moth PI. No, none of those. Uh, I'm here about Frog Detective. Oh, of course, our second best detective. Well, Detective isn't around right now. I sent my two top investigators to help over in Cowboy County. You haven't heard? Heard what? The detective has been framed for a crime over in Cowboy County. That's terrible news. How can you be so sure it's a setup? The story doesn't add up, and I know Frog Detective would never do something so horrible as steal the town's hats. Well, there is a clear motive there. I know, I know. But it's so out of character. Even if the detective is guilty, the punishment is really yeah, harsh. Dude. The detective has been sent to the bad room. Oh, no! What's the bad room? It's something that Sheriff Mason Mole invented. Mason Mole? That name sounds familiar. Oh? I've seen him around before, just sort of, sort of loitering around the offices. Loitering, you say? I remember a kind of shady guy hanging around Martin's Island back when we were there to investigate the ghost noise. Yeah! Me too! I saw him! He arrived shortly before the detective, but I didn't get a chance to catch his name. He'd even say hello. When I saw his photo on the frog blog, I knew right away uh, something was amiss. Great detective skills, mystery monkey. I know it's a big ask, but do you mind if I snoop around a frog detective's office to look for clues? Be my guest. New playable character unlocked, Monkey. I'm glad I didn't look at the achievements beforehand. That would have spoiled it. I shouldn't snoop in Lobster Cop's office once I really have to. Okay. Still got that dog picture. Money well spent. Clue detecting. <laughs> 
clue detecting powder. How convenient. I'll just spread this powder around and take another look for clues. Is that piss? Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, can I just spray this everywhere? Is this not what I'm looking for? Yeah, is this not it? This is his notebook, right? I wonder what I'm missing. Oh, footprints. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was missing like a fucking pixel. I'm like, God, God damn, this game is precise. Yeah, dude. Just checking. Also, why are they covered in yellow? What, he's fucking dragging piss with him? There we go. I No, I'm not. I'm just clicking. Click too high, I guess. Huh? It couldn't be. Do I really need the footprints more? I think it's pretty obvious where they, where they go. What could Lobster Cop be hiding? Photocopy of Frog Detective's notebook, huh? Copy of the detective's notebook. Interesting! Lobster Cop and Mason Mole. A note. It reads. Hello, Lobster Cop. It is me, your bestie forever, Mason Mole. I have done what you asked. It was not easy to trail the detective unnoticed, but I think I did a great job. I fear that your suspicions are correct and that Frog Detective is on the right track to overtaking your position as number one best detective. If you keep pretending to solve mysteries instead of actually solving them, the supervisor will eventually notice. So I've taken the detective's notebook. Inside are some great insights to how the detective works. Uh, through a case. Maybe you can read and learn. But it may not be enough. As the detective gets better and better, your position as number one is threatened. I think it's time to enact the plan you came up with. It's devious and mean and not very nice. But if you want to be the best, you have to get rid of the best. You son of a bitch. This can't be true. Lobster cop, the number one best detective. A fraud? I need to get the supervisor and head to Cowboy uh, County. There's been a terrible misjustice. Why did he keep the letter, though? I don't know. Why didn't he eat it? Piece of shit! Hey, what's up? Oh, uh, hey, we can't go in. This is a... We can't go in there. Huh. Why is everything locked? I guess we gotta go over there. Ah. Hey, guys. Howdy, folks. What brings you to Cowboy County so late? This is our turf, so you better have a good reason. We don't want any trouble. We're here about our good friend, the Frog Detective. Ah, the duality of frog. How can one so kind, poetic, and thoughtful also be a stealer of all our hats? A frog so pretty, so alluring, and yet... I really trusted Frog Detective. That snake! I can't go on a date with a criminal. It's just not me. Aren't you a bandit? Outlaw. So you live outside the law. Well, when there's no laws, it makes it pretty easy. It doesn't matter. Anyway, Frog Detective is innocent. Sure, we all saw the photo. Those furrowed brows tell the whole story. Frog Detective doesn't even have eyebrows. Ah, so those are stolen too? No, you're mistaken. Mystery Monkey found all the evidence. Who's Mystery Monkey? That's me. You may have read my comments before on Frog Detective's Frog Blog. I'm a pretty active user. Blogs are still a thing? Regardless, you say it was a mistake. Not so much a mistake, a setup. I have reason to believe Sheriff Mason Mole and Lobster Cop coordinated the takedown of her beloved Frog Detective. What? That's so messed up! Who would do that to such a beautiful frog? Someone very jealous, I'm afraid. How can we help? If you could point us in the direction of where Frog Detective is being held, that would help a lot. Easy! Sheriff Mason Mole has Detective locked up in Bad Room. The back of his sheriff's office. 
If you're quiet, you should be able to sneak in without trouble. Thanks for your help, bandits. We're outlaws. My bad. Hey, buddy. Mystery monkey, supervisor, what are you doing here? I didn't know I was allowed visitors in bad room or that anyone would want to visit me. We're here to bust you out. What? Mystery monkey has proof you were framed. I knew it. Sheriff Mason Mole was up to something. It's not just him, detective. I'm sorry to tell you that I believe Lobster Cop and Mason Mole planned this all along. It can't be. Lobster Cop is number one best detective. Why would he try to frame me? It's hard to know for sure until we ask, but it looks like Lobster Cop has been dealing with a bad case of jealousy. Green with envy, one might say. Envious of who? You, detective? It's not possible. It's time to shift your understanding of the world, detective. Not everyone is out to do a good job and solve mysteries like you. I simply cannot believe it. Well, let's wait until dawn and confront Lobster Cop and Mason Mole once and for all. The sun is coming up as we speak. I'll call a town meeting. So can anyone just do that, or...? That was pretty quick. What is the meaning of this? Only I get to call town meetings. I have called this town meeting for a very important purpose. I have some news about... Oh, we just let him out. Should you still leave him in there if he's still guilty? Anyway, I have some news about the hat stealing case. He could just run away. But it's closed. I solved it. Is that so, Lobster Cop? Supervisor, what are you doing here? Lobster Cop, he was there. He's the only fucking penguin in this game. What do you mean? He's been there the whole time. Please give your attention to Mystery Monkey for just a moment. Thank you, Supervisor. Thank you, Town, for meeting us here on short notice. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have an important question to ask you. What? How long have you and Lobster Cop been scheming to bring down Frog Detective? Huh? What? I... This is ridiculous. Lobster Cop, I found the secret drawer in your office. Was it a secret? You can't just go through my office. That's a crime. Please stop trying to invent crimes. Crime is not real. As I was saying, I found your secret drawer. I found the letter that Mason Mole wrote to you. I knew I shouldn't have detailed my schemes on paper. Sheriff Mason Mole has been tailing the detective since I called for help with the mystery of the haunted island. As a lead scientist on the island at the time, I can confirm I had several reported sightings of Mason Mole sneaking around like a slippery snake. Wait, why didn't you tell me? It feels like someone sneaking around the island is kind of relevant to that case. I was too starstruck. In any case, I contacted my friend Carlos, who runs the shop over in Warlock Woods. He also confirmed a sighting of Mason Mole hiding behind a shop. What? I never. Oh, but you did. Sheriff Mason Mole, I have reason to believe you were hired by Lobster Cop to follow the detective. No, I... No, that's not... I... <laughs> this is all a mistake. No, Mason Mole. It's time for us to come clean. Frog Detective, ever since you moved next door to my office, I felt threatened. You are so methodical in your case solving, I would read your blogs and go green with envy. I've been number one best detective for so long that I grew complacent. Every time the supervisor had a mystery to solve, I began to believe I wouldn't be able to do it and pass it on to you. I just began to pretend to solve mysteries, hoping the supervisor wouldn't notice. I was embarrassed at myself and angry at you. Angry? The Lobster Cop? Your investigative abilities far outweigh mine. Maybe they used to, but I became so focused on my own shortcomings that my work suffered. Mason Mole was there for me. Having friends is so important, but we were bad influence on each other. I needed work, and so I suggested... To, oh, wow, he's actually talking in a paragraph. Uh, I needed work, and so I suggested the Lobster Cop that I helped take it down, and I had the perfect plan. I'm very subtle, you see. I'm ashamed that it got to that point. Instead of asking you for help or swallowing my pride, I let my jealousy get the best of me. How'd you frame the detective? It was a joint e effort. When I arrived in town, I sneakily stole all the hats and quickly buried them in the graveyard. I wrote a map to where they were buried for the detective to find. But I didn't find the map. Susie did. I didn't execute it very well, I will admit. Uh, once you had the resources to dig up the hats and Lobster Cop had a clear alibi, I waited in place to take your photo. Wait, what was Lobster Cop's alibi? I was eating a delicious meal. Of course. I'm ashamed to say that I also drew evil eyebrows on the photo. <laughs> But what I don't understand is why you had to put me in the bad room. 
Framing you was bad enough, but you made a whole room for me to be trapped in. That's so unusually cruel. I'm inclined to agree. Putting someone into a room, whether they did a naughty thing or not, seems really harsh and unfair. Well. <laughs> How is someone supposed to grow from their mistakes if they're just sitting around trapped? Ah. Anyway, I really hate that room. Bad room was my idea. I'm sorry. It's a terrible idea. I realize this now. My bad. Lobster cop, Mason Mole. You have done something very serious and mean. Something similar to a crime. Our society doesn't have strategies in place to deal with things like this. Are you going to send us to the bad room? Absolutely not. That's messed up. No, but I think there needs to be consequences. Lobster cop, you have abused your power in ways I cannot begin to comprehend. Mason Mole, you enabled and encouraged this behavior. I'm mad at you both. Can't you tell by my... My smiling face? We deserve that. I think an appropriate course of action is to remove Lobster Cop from the detective agency. I think you should change career paths for your own good. Maybe do something that helps contribute to society. A cop no longer. Okay. I will hand in my badge and gun. Gun? Wait, why do you have a gun? I didn't even know they were real. That's really messed up. It's not like I ever used it. Mate. I gave Lobster Cop the gun. <laughs> of course you did. Of course you did. Okay, well, yes, please hand that in. I have an idea of what you could do as a job, Lobster Cop. Oh? Why don't you talk to Barney about joining the post office? Lobster Posty has a nice ring to it. Can I join too? I don't see why not. Well, then, it's settled. Wow, is that worse than jail? You have to work for the USPS? Might be. Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mole, do you have anything to say to the detective? Yes. I'm sincerely sorry for what I did to you, detective. It was mean, rude, evil, and not nice. I don't expect you to forgive me, but I hope with time I can prove myself as a great postie. This sounds like a Post Malone fan. This is like what Post Malone calls his fans, and I can't get past that. Uh, and write some of the wrongs I've done. Like, Posty Mason Mole would fucking shout and scream Sunflower. This man raps the Post Malone part. I guess not rap, but sings it. Detective, I acted poorly and encouraged behavior that I shouldn't have. I'm going to channel that energy into being a Posty. And, <laughs> and please rest assured you will never have a late parcel again. Thank you both for the apology. What a nice apology. Hey, if I do something wrong, I'm just going to copy and paste all of this and put it on a twit longer. Of course, it's going to start with uh, my fellow Americans, like I promised. Uh, say, now that that's all sorted, I have an announcement to make. Oh? Lobster Cop is no longer the number one best detective. After some impeccable detective work on this case, I'm pleased to announce the number one best detective. Congratulations to... Shit! Damn it! Well. Alright, could be worse. Mystery Monkey! Wow, congratulations, Mystery Monkey. What an achievement. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. All you did was throw powder and find, like, piss! I'll have to shut down my research facility so I can investigate full-time. You can move into my old office. There's already a bunch of trophies in there for you to keep. Great. What an honor to work next door to the number one best detective again. This calls for a celebration. Bonnie, can you prep the saloon for a dance party? Can't do. Oh, and Lobster Posty, Posty Mason Mole. Yeah? You're invited too. Yeah, what about Mo? Frog Detective's too nice, dude. Ending. Oh, they're back! The best band! Yo, he's doing the running man. Let's go. Yo, shout out to the cast of Degrassi, The Next Generation, Season 6, Episode 11, or whatever that was. What a trilogy. 
What a trilogy of games. Hell yeah. I made you and I could destroy you, Grace. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Is that a threat or a promise? You missed a hell of a stream? Boy, you sure did. It'll be, uh... It'll be up on YouTube tomorrow. Oh, was that the... Was that the place where he went out? Okay. Two weeks later. Hey. Look at all my dance parties. New Frog Plus. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. How may I solve your mystery? Hey, Frog Detective. Yes, Mystery Monkey. Happy birthday. Thanks so much. I know it's your birthday, but I have a really difficult case that I just can't crack. I guess Tina's birthday and Frog Detective's birthday the same day. But you're number one best detective. I know, but this one is a doozy. Could you help me out? Of course, I'll be right there. Oh man, is it a surprise party? That'd be so cool. Hey, man. Oh, he changed all his pictures, so... Oh, he just taped his head over Lobster Cup! <laughs> yeah, I guess that works. Hey, Detective. Well, 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 if it isn't Mystery Monkey 49. Good to see you, Frog Detective 03. What? Just a joke. Are there two other Frog Detectives? I don't know, I was just joking. You've got me worried. That really stresses me out. Frog Detective 1. Frog Detective 2. And now Frog Detective 3? How do you think I feel when... Uh, with 48 other mystery monkeys? That's a good point. Anyway, thanks for meeting me here. The case information is in the other room. Just head down the hallway and I'll meet you there. we Will do. <laughs> did he do it here too? Oh, he did it everywhere. Alright. Nice. It's all my friends! Surprise! Everyone is here, this is better than Smash! Wow, what's everyone doing here? Well, Detective, we all appreciate everything you've done for us. Yeah, our town has never been so peaceful, all thanks to you. Same with my island, I haven't heard a ghost in ages. It wasn't a ghost to begin with. I mean, technically you never heard a ghost. Okay, I wrote this game. We heard it's your birthday, so we all arranged to come here and surprise you. It worked! That's not all, Detective. We got a week. Oh, present. Oh, shit. It should be coming any minute now. I ordered on Whizbay. <laughs> Special birthday delivery! Is that for me? Open it up! Oh, it's a hat! Oh, it's gonna fit my head! It's a little hat! That's easy, Detective. It's a hat. I can't wear hats due to my head shape. Why don't you just try it on? Well, would you look at that? It's a hat that fits. Oh. What a cute ending. Thank you for playing Frog Detective, Smile. We have loved making these games for you. And we are so grateful that so many people have spent time with our silly story. Well, hopefully more people will now after I played it. Hey, putting it on Game Pass was smart. Easy achievements. That was so good. Oh, look. They're back making our, li our, our latest Toast Science Discovery Jam. Love, Mo and Mystery Monkey. Hey, what's the difference between jam and jelly? Collaborating on our latest potion, Lola and Mandy. 
We're celebrating Craig's acceptance to the Ghost Spotters League. Hey, he got in! See you soon. Love from Bonnie, Craig, and Susie. Finally got a sponsorship deal with Dr. Tight Smiles 101 Tooth Whitening Cool Pace for TTM. XO Fresh X. Family reunion. So much wool was, sh was shed. Gross from Noodle and Barney. I can't believe he referenced him. Oh, we went on the date! We went on the date with Sherman! He got me a rose. So handy having a muse right next door to the salon. Uh, I can't t <laughs> I can't tell you what I'm up to, but it's very cool and secretive. Eat after reading, Birdie. He became a secret agent. Oh, Rhonda Dynamite's the sheriff? I'm the sheriff now. I didn't even have to beat anyone up. Finally convinced Carlos to take a holiday. Aw, they're friends. We are not the same guy. <laughs> Larry and Lobster Posty. You saying all lobsters look the same? What the fuck? That's kind of cringe. My first day at cowboy school. Dusty. Employee of the month at the post office. Way to go, Mason Mole. Wait. Oh, it worked! The magnet worked! Thanks for the magnet. I attached it to this boat and went super fast. Warm regards, koala. Oh, he's getting more shells. There are so many shells down here. Well wishes from the deep blue sea orbit. We performed together at the latest dance contest. We came in third, Finley and Martin. Too busy signing autographs right now. Talk later, Mary. Hell yeah, Mary. Hell yeah. I broke my leg. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> set from my phone. Uh, I literally have not left the hot tub since you were here. Vi <laughs> Thanks, Victor. Finally met my hero, Lobster. I mean, Lobster Posty. Much love, Susan. Everybody lived happily ever after, except maybe Naughty. She broke her leg, but that'll heal. What a cute game. I'm glad I played all of them at once. The end. It's over, dude. Sag, it's over. Don't cry that it's over. Be happy that it happened. And you were here. That was great. Oh, do you guys want to see the thumbnail before I wrap up? I have to wrap up soon because we got to go to dinner here. We got to leave soon. All right. What achievements did I miss? Um, oh, I'm missing four. Ooh. I'm sure these like miscellaneous ones. Uh, locked. Oh, I can't see from here. Fuck. I think one of them is the other ending. From uh, number two, I have to look and see what these are. But all right, 14 out of 18 without following a guide. As you can tell, this is a very easy game. Uh, just make sure you have a guide pulled up for missables. Like there's stuff like, you know, going around uh, in the first case and checking the boat or going back to the boat. And then uh, what was it? Oh, give uh, Vincent a dirty thing. So that was great. 10 out of 10. Round of applause. This game fucking ruled. Hey, reminder, this is on PC Game Pass. So if you have PC Game Pass, it's on there. Play it. It's fun. It's cute. Easy achievements. Why not? I mean, I guess if you ready, if you saw the game already, you probably seen the whole thing. But I mean, I the achievements, though. Achievements. You missed a separate ending in case two, and there's... Three in the third case. Okay. I would love to do them now, but like I said, I don't have any time. Because we're going to uh, dinner for Tina's birthday. But uh, phenomenal game. Glasses. Good choice. Great choice, even. Um, yeah, YouTube. Uh, definitely recommend this game. It was super cute. Super fun. And uh, yeah, this is a very... This, this is a good game for people who don't play games. If you're looking for a good introductory game... This is something simple, it's cute, it's funny, it's well written, uh, and I can't recommend it enough. 10 out of 10, honestly, one of my favorite games I've played this year. Um, but YouTube, hope you enjoyed. 
Uh, next stream will be, this is more for Twitch chat, but next stream will be the 15th, right? No. When's, what, what's next Saturday? Oh, the 12th. Anyway, YouTube, there's going to be a, a content job for a while. I love you. See you later. Goodbye.